Well, I'm paying leave to move the instead of public interest litigation. Hmm. Well, you also kindly give me leave. Can you take it at 2 p.m. or what is the public interest? What do you tell? Violence at Simpur, Arista. It is already Amtala. there. Amtala. Item number one is there. Yes. So you uh, need Lord Chief, uh, I have but, a similar matter filed on the last occasion. Can you give me leave? Oh, item yeah. number one, it may be taken up, Lord Chief. No, no. That, that, that's not in the I have already wait. filed. So you already one repetition has been yes. filed. Let it be taken up. We'll see what is the stand. You can always assist the court. Yes. Filing similar reliefs. It's, it's there. already file. filed, Lord Chief. I have got the file. number. I'm giving As you the number. Know. And I As want to know. make some submission today after the once. Uh, Let the it file. be called. Yes. Let it be file. called. You are good. Please be here. Lord Chief, may I file. leave to... Lord Chief, may I leave to mention one... One Guru Nine made an assign. Uh, uh, mentioning, we have already said. You please see the... Uh, where is the... No, notification is there, my lord, in the cost list. Ah, learned advocates who seek to mention their cases are requested to file the mentioning slips in the approved format, setting out the grounds of urgency to the assistant court office. My lord, you do that, we'll do. No, my lord, I am mentioning why, why, why my lord, my lord, this matter uh, was assigned before the honorable chief justice, uh, justice Sivas. Now he's required to. I, now it's can you give a letter to the uh, secretary to chief? He will place a uh, note to me. I will. May my I lord. have my lord Sadiq to mention one I matter, my lord? My lord, this matter mentioned for what purpose? My lord, this is a contempt application. This matter. No, you file a mentioning slip, my lord. But this requires a little bit consideration. If my lord allows me Obviously, to. Obviously, you file a mentioning slip. My lord, this has not been listed since the month of December 2020. Sir, you are giving it now. We'll. And at least this is the 14th instance of mine, my lord, mentioning. My lord, the first instance here. This is the what, first what instance you before your lord. My lord, may I be permitted to mention, my lord? I'm my lord, the issue regarding the family pension of unmarried daughter is being heard before the honorable J larger bench, my lord. Hmm. Presided by the honorable justice Harish Tandon, my lord. The issue involved in my case is also similar case, my lord. If my lord is pleased to assign this matter before the larger mention, my lord, the prison will be have opportunity to of being. No, no, you write to the secretary. He will I have it. already written, but it has not been assigned. You you give it today. Today you give this letter. You give this letter today. He'll place on home. May I please your lordship? Yes. Lordship, this is a matter of a service camp of municipal service. Hmm. 7,500 genuine people has been deprived for uh, nepo, uh, be, being the victim of nepotism and uh, no, you have filed the matter or is it one matter has been filed it is a, it is regarding the entire hugli district all municipalities are involved so give the slip lord chief but to mention one copy, let the matter be listed as soon as possible copy of the order. date of the order my lord, date of the order my lord it is done my lord without informing me that is 21 4 1 2023 Mm, is on 24 1 with the certificate copy. I have applied for I have applied for because uh, otherwise, how to my lord, actually, my lord, police is threatening me. I will be ousted, my lord, from my lawful position. That is the situation. And my lord, order is my lord, pass my lord, without my lord giving any information to me, my lord. My lord only my lord, leave me kindly be granted, my lord. Otherwise, my lord, position is very difficult, my lord. All right, please give. Lord, may I have your lordship's kind I leave not to hmm. Lord, have your lordship's kind leave not to uh, file this um, Lord appeal without certified copy. Yeah, 31st okay. of Lord uh, March, Lord, the order was passed, please. staying Lord the forfeiture clause. Yes, yes. Lord, okay. only one thing, Lord, if may your I... lordship kindly grab, permits me to move, Lord. Lord kindly permits me to move this appeal, Lord, in Wednesday or Thursday as yes, coordinated yes, to my Lord. Lord. If it is filed in order without any defects, automatically it will come. I'm grateful. My Lord, may I be permitted to mention it is a mandamus appeal in uh, order against the Honorable Justice Moshumi Vatacharya. The order was first on 22nd March 2023. There's a uh, contempt proceeding being started by the rest you give, you give. against the bank. Lord, may I have a lordship sleep, Lord. Lord, this is in the list, Lord. I'm giving handing over the sleep, Lord, studying the urgency. Item, item number? Lord, this is item number 175. What do you want with that? Uh, this is for upgradation and item number 637. Both this matter, in fact, item number 637, there was a direction to list this matter today. It is in the list. 
Hmm. But at the bottom of the list, lad, it will not be taken a possibly, lad. Item six is connected with this. No. Six thirty-seven. Six thirty-seven and and one seventy-five. You please make a note of it. Huh? Note of it. Six six thirty-seven. Six thirty-seven. There is a direction to list this matter today. Now, can it be taken up any day, lad? We'll Let it be upgraded. You just check up the order sheet. Yeah, But there was no, there is no formal order. There is a matter was taken out on th uh, Thursday, last Thursday. So in the matter, uh, just um, this Rashi was not about to retire. Now this Rashi was kindly move this matter before the six thirty seven. Six thirty seven. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. You please give the. Yes, mentioning. My lords, may I be permitted to mention this One. matter for inclusion in the list, my lords? Actually, my lord, the appellant is the wife of the refugee of 1947 Bengal partition who has been who has been ousted, who has been going to who is going to be ousted illegally by the respondent of this. My lord. One more matter, my lord. This is extreme. Yes. Please to mention, my lord. One application for injunction in connection with the PIL. Uh, What is the PIL about? The PIL is about my lord. There is a plot of land which is arbitrarily allotted to the private respondent, and there there is ongoing illegal construction. Now, what happened to the PIL? Notice has been not. PIL is not disposed of, though it is ready for hearing, my lord. In the meantime, it's there in the list. Yeah, uh, it it is two fifty of monthly list of today, my lord. Today, you give that. May I have my lord's leave to mention a matter, a very short matter, my lord, a transfer application. Seeking transfer of a matter from this court to the National Green Tribunal. Now, as two similar litigations, one before this court, another before the National Green Tribunal, has been filed by two different environmental activists. Now, one since the matter is pending before my lord, the the National Green Tribunal has stayed his hand. So, as said, until the matter is transferred before me, I will not pass any order. This is the last order. Matter will be listed before on the 11th of April. So, if only humble prayer, my lord. No, you, you are for the respondent or for the petitioner? I am for the respondent in both the cases. I, you issue given notice to the petitioner. I, I have given. I will again give. My lord will kindly list the matter no. any day to your lordship. Uh, after notice, we will do it. No, no. We 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 have already given. We are given a notice that we are going to mention. Once one, my lord, fix the matter. We'll again give a notice. This is the last order, my lord. We will have it. There's a comic. Uh, the difficulty. What is happening, my lord? I will just okay. indicate one line. To to be mentioned tomorrow. To be mentioned tomorrow. You I'm, inform the others. Certainly, my lord. Yes. Please give a notice. This matter I I mentioned on last I Friday can, also. Give you the high court notice. These these are the my lord matters relating to my lord silicosis victim. My lord, they worked. Is it there in the list? Is not in the list, my lord. My lord, there is a direction for holding my lord medical camp. Wait. Hmm? You see the list today's list. You have got seven hundred and sixty-three. I am unnecessary. We can probably, if you want, we can include it at seven sixty-four. So there is no not, point. No, we have to. That's why. That's why I am trying to not explain like, the urgency. But these are the victims that like, who are dying every day, man. Like. Without man any medical you assistance, man. Like. You give the slip. But like, there is a direction, man, like, man, like, to hold medical camp by this honourable court, man. Like. Don't raise your voice. I'm sorry. Don't raise your voice. I'm sorry. And it's not going to take you anywhere. I'm, I'm Please call the list. But see, you know, see, list. But I'm extremely, extremely sorry. But it's side tomorrow. Tomorrow. Please call the list. Admit side monthly listed matters. Item number one. I'm handing over. Please explain the urgency. Lord, I appear for the Union of India. Yes. Lord, I appear for the petitioner in this matter. For the national information. Sure. स्पोर्ट <laughs> 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 Yes. 
<laughs> this relates to the incident that occurred on 30th of March 2023 hmm. over the procession taken out at within the jurisdiction of the Shippur Police Station in Howrah and not certain parts of uh, Uttar Dinajpur at Dalkhola. Now, not the incidents have been depicted in pages six to eight of this written application in so far as Howrah is concerned. And so far as the Uttar Dinajpur district is concerned, it's at page 10. Hmm. Now, not there were two complaints made on 30th of March 2023 at pages 55 and 58 of the written application, one to the Honorable Governor and the other to the Ministry of Home Affairs. That situation live streaming is going on from today oh, oh, oh. live streaming. so it's on a testing basis we have not given the link in the cost list so today we have started let us uh, okay. that's that's something that's very good Great so news. everybody will be watching us <laughs> it was already on youtube since yesterday night ah yes i was very excited it was long request live streaming yes page number but the Immediate reaction that your lordship should be pleased to find at pages 55 and 58 of the present application. Yes. <clears throat> this is the representation to the Honorable Governor, Governor at page 55 on the same date, you know, the representation was made to the Ministry of Human, uh, uh, Home, hmm. Union Minister of Home. Request for urgent intervention of his you know, at page 55. Yes. Request for urgent intervention of His Excellency to control the deteriorating law and order condition at, of Shibpur, Howrah, and Dalkhola, Uttar Dinajpur, where violence has erupted due to inefficiency of West Bengal police in providing safe passage to the Ram Navami processions. Not all these processions were permitted to be taken out through the route. I hope this letter finds you well. Kindly accept my regards on the auspicious occasion of Sri Ram Navami. Hundreds of peaceful processions were taken out across West Bengal yesterday. The West Bengal police had given permission for each and every procession. After assessing the arrangements regarding the same, local police were previously intimated about the routes and other necessary details. Unfortunately, two incidents of violence have marred the celebratory mood of the state. One has taken place in the Shibpur police station area under the Howrah police commissionerate and the other in the Dalkhola police station area under the Islampur police district. It's astonishing that the police could not make adequate arrangements for the smooth passage of the processions. Their inability led to their mindless violence. In fact, last year also similar violence had erupted in the Shibpur area. Same area. Hmm. The Howrah Police Commissionerate failed miserably to realize the sensitivity of the area and this time too could not control the rioters even after last year's incident was an eye opener. Sadly, violence has engulfed these areas and the lives of people living in and around these areas are under threat. I urge you to take stock of the situation immediately and if you deem fit that the state administration and the West Bengal police are not coping up well with the gravity of the situation and are falling short in reigning in the law and order condition, then you should at this very instant get involved in seeking central assistance. It would be great if you kindly instruct the Chief Secretary to immediately establish communication with the Union Home Ministry and seek deployment of Central Armed Police Force or Central Reserve Police Force so that the situation is brought under control as early as possible so that the loss of lives and limbs are avoided and public and private properties could be saved from the rioting and arson. But similar letter not issued to the Ministry as well at page 58 with the only addition that at page 59, your lordships will be pleased to find. Yes. And the penultimate paragraph of that page. But the first few paragraphs are uh, verbatim reproduction of the earlier page. It would be great if you kindly instruct any secretary level officer of your department or any competent officer as you deem fit to seek urgent report from the chief secretary of West Bengal regarding the aforementioned situation. In my opinion, to control the incidents on the ground, deployment of Central Armed Police Force or Central Reserve Police Force is very much necessary so that the grave, grave situation is brought under control as early as possible so that the loss of lives and limbs are avoided and public and private properties could be saved from the rioting and arson. Yes. But bombs were hurled, stones were pelted, not the processions were attacked. Not even on 31st of March 2023, after the occurrence of the incident on 30th of March 2023, the situation was not under control. But there was certain incidents not which took place at a particular point of time after the religious endowments were over at a particular point of the day, part of the day. And not even yesterday, not the police had to suspend internet of operations in those areas at Howrah under the jurisdiction of the Shippur police station, as well as in Hooghly. Howrah and Hooghly. Howrah and Hooghly. 
Howda was previously uh, done, and you know, I'm told yesterday, Hugli, there has been suspension of internet uh, what operations. What is order at page 31 of this deposition? At page 31. Hmm. Now, that's not in respect of an incident of similar nature which had occurred in Calcutta at Muminpur area. Now, please have a look at page 31. Hmm. Now, the order has really given four directions at page 37. Uh, 37. Hmm. Progress in the investigation. Yes. Page 36, if I may place. Measures taken to prevent similar offenses. Steps taken to protect life and property. Submit a report on compensation. Measures to restore communal peace. Yes. Now, what is the situation today? AG is here. Well, in uh, the Mallard, uh, two areas which are the subject matter, hmm. Mallard, of this petition, Mallard, uh, it's under control. No, so is there any report? Uh, Mallard, we can Mallard state? furnish a report, Mallard. I have Mallard certain facts and figures, Mallard, with me. Hmm. I can indicate that to your Lordship. Sir. No, what led to this incident? What was the area? What precipitated the problem? Did not the state police uh, anticipate anything? They were there. Melod, they were there. And uh, Melod, we have videos as well, Melod, which we can show your lordships, Melod, with a necessary affidavit, which will explain, Melod, give an idea, Melod, as to why Melod. Um, any case has been registered? Yes, Melod, cases have been registered. In, any arrests done? Yes, arrests have been made, Melod. I'll give Melod the two areas. Melod, as far as Shippur is concerned, Melod, mm. 36 arrests have, Melod, happened. Mallard person, Mallard uh, FIR Mallard has also been registered, Mallard. And Mallard uh, 10, 161 statements have been given. Mallard, there have been seizures. Mallard, damage to property has also, Mallard, been Mallard. Uh, Whether uh, this uh, approval was granted for the procession Mallard, permission. Mallard, I'll tell you a lot of what had happened. Mallard, an application had been made, Mallard, for Mallard, this procession, Mallard, to go through. Mallard, it had not been responded to. But, Mallard, what happened was, Mallard, they had a meeting. Mallard, even before Mallard, the procession, mm -hmm. when Mallard, it was impressed upon all concern that Mallard, this had to be peaceful. In fact, your lordships will find, Mallard, that when the procession starts out, Mallard, the exchange of uh, uh, pleasantries and uh, between Mallard, the two Mallard communities, Mallard, who are in that area. Exactly, Mallard. Half an hour before Mallard, the violence started. Once Mallard, the route Mallard, Mallard, the... No, actually, the uh, concerned authority has granted permission. Mallard, yes. Mallard, I'll proceed on the basis, Mallard, that Mallard permission. No, normally, when you make an application... Mallard, there has to be... And if you anticipate a problem. Yes. Which, because this is, this happens during, uh, in uh, the state where I come from, it happens during the Vinaya Chaturthi festival. That is Ganesh Chaturthi festival. So there, the, the different bodies make applications, including some political parties. Then there is a designated route. And uh, this happens throughout the state. And if there is any violation of those conditions, the permission is liable to be cancelled or uh, suspended. They can be asked to disperse. But uh, why no permission, such permission was specific written order permission? Yes, Mallard, I'll tell you, Lord Chiefs, Mallard, in one case, my Lord, the permission, my Lord, there was a deviation from the route. So there, there is a... In one case. There is an order permitting... The yes, procession. my Lord, that is my Lord, as far as my Lord, Islampur is concerned. My Lord, that's Din, my Lord, yes. uh, Uttar Dinajpur area. The petitioner has, is uh, not aware of those permissions. Have you enclosed that orders of permission? No, it's uh, in the supplementary affidavit for the timing, if your Lord, she's not... We uh, couldn't affirm yes. because of the late... I'm giving one so point. that... But I'm handing over a copy to my senior friends. For, I, for the time being, we shall get it affirmed. For the timing, if you will kindly consider. Return it later, it can be affirmed. Copy, copy, copy the other side. Copy, I mean, right. copy, right. what, what happened last year? Alert, there was a problem in Shippur area, my lord. Then was... uh, therefore, if you, if you had anticipated it, uh, something could have been uh, done earlier. <laughs> Which page you want to rely on this? Uh, if I mean, page nine is the page nine, is the, nine is the page nine is the permission granted. Hmm. The rally will start on so and so two thirty. Will be completed five p.m. 
the time and route should be strictly followed. Organizers ensure participation of the following so and so only in the rally. No member of the rally should show provocative gestures or postures, malicious slogans, etc. Should carry weapons or use any motorcycle, DJ in any way. And what is the order which they are referring to, sir? Hence, you are uh, to comply with the different guidelines given by West Bengal P PCB Alert, and also order of the Honorable High Court. Yeah, some, some system should not exceed a particular decibel. Okay. So, uh, if suppose there has been a violation of the conditions of, uh, then what do you expect uh, thing to happen? But the rally could have been stopped there and then only. Now, it was a, in fact, not there has been no violation on the part of the rally. Number one, number two, please have a look at the pleadings in paragraphs six to eight. Okay. Petitioner is a public interest litigant. Of course, he's a leader of the opposition. So these are all individual permissions given to various bodies or uh, people, hmm? convener of so and so rally, etc. And uh, does the petitioner know whether any one of those individuals had violated the condition? That uh, might be material. But I am on the attack. I am on the attack made on a permitted procession. Then there is no change in the report. rule. Yes, my lord, we'll no, do that. You file a report uh, as to because uh, lord, the prayer sought for is to. Uh, lord, I have got two fold prayers. My lord, in view words. of the fact that not bombs were hurled and not this has taken place in more than one places and the situation has escalated thereafter, but I seek for NIA intervention in terms of the NIA Act, number one. That's for the central government to expedite and not pull, pull up their socks for the purpose. Second prayer is not for deployment of central forces in the locality for the time being. So that the peace be restored and the same may not be escalated. Not yesterday it had spread over to Hooghly, an adjoining district, Rishra. And then yesterday they stopped in And not this. Uh, and not in so far as other issues are concerned, this particular locality has been the epicenter of violence. Over the last two years. Yes, what do you want to say? These processions have participated by firearms and arms. It has been seen as development and Now, the question is this has permitted language. Now, conversation and conduct conversation. Now these permissions to the dead, whether it can be put for, for any 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 procession which will be accelerated by the fire arms. Let the government uh, apprise this court. What is the stand of the government regarding the procession with the firearms? Because, because permission which was granted clearly says that you can't do you can't carry firearms, you can't have a DJ, you can't have pro provocative slogans, posters. For some time. What prevented the police to impose 144 immediately? That is our concern. Now, it, it, it may be a case where police itself has indulged in violence in order to ensure some political benefit for some persons. That is some. All right, let a, when, when you can file the report. As, whenever you're not sure. Day after tomorrow. Very well. But what is the present situation? Let us Malad, be it's honest. under control, my lord. We've taken confidence building measures. There See, are... If they have suspended internet connection, then uh, you think the situation is so grave? No, it's not suspended, my lord, in these two areas now, my lord. My lord, it was suspended last night in Hooghly, my lord, in Rishra. Uh, that's not a in, very lord, serious it... issue. It, it is uh, done in uh, northeastern states for certain other reasons. Not fully, my lord, not fully. My lord, I have the order. My Lord, which I can place, my Lord. And it's at page 58 of the Sir. supplementary FAD bit. The situation was distorted yesterday. Two political parties wanted to see that they were prevented from doing so. No, page 47 of your supplementary FAD bit. Yes. Medical. That's a medical report over the incident but yesterday, but as we have all learned from the social media that the local MLA was attacked in the procession number one, number two, the convoy was attacked and number three, not, there has been suspension of internet facilities on and from 2nd April 2023 till today for the time being in the adjoining district.
is the situation normal today yes, as of now? It is normal. I have taken 144 has been imposed. No, my lord, 144 is no longer there, my lord, in my lord, this area. Right, though. They say yesterday also. Kindly That's at page 58. That's at page 58 of the affidavit. 144. My lord, sorry, my lord, 144 is there, my lord. Uh, 144 yeah. is there. Then you do something and uh, ensure that the Innocent public are not uh, put to threat. That is yes. very important. Yes, my lord. What about schools? Schools have been closed. Open. they are open. Open. Shops open. Shops have opened. Hmm? Shops and other establishments are all open. Yes. 144. Then 144. <laughs> no. The thing is, uh, if suppose last year uh, there was an incident, etc. Uh, people would have been more careful uh, in uh, granting such permissions. Normally, uh, my lord, we in fact had my lord meetings even before the march. My lord, when I show your lordships, my lord, the video, my lord, at the start of the march, my lord, this was my lord totally unexpected. And moment it happened, my lord, efforts were made to stop. And your lordship will see, my lord, when I show the video, my lord, what happened? My lord, apart from my lord, noise, decibel, my lord, those are different. My lord, uh, my lord, disc jockeys, my lord, that's also different. But my lord, what was brandished, my lord, what my lord, threats were my lord held out, my lord, your lordships will see my lord from my lord, the video itself. These my lord, my lord just came my lord during the march. And my lord, two organizations, my lord, merged their processions. Please tell me. This red petition, styled as a public interest litigation, has been filed praying for issuance of the writ of mandamus to direct Central Bureau of Investigation to register an FAR into the act of violence, arson, and communal conflagration at Haura and Dalko. Dalkola on 30th March 2023 on the occasion of Ram Naomi. The petitioner also prays for issuance of a writ of mandamus to direct the National Investigation Agency to conduct investigation in Trailia into the use of explosive substances in the violence uh, in the said areas on 30th March 2023. <clears throat> the learned advocate appearing for the petitioner has uh, drawn our attention to the representation given by the petitioner to the to His Excellency, the Honorable Governor of West Bengal, on 30th March 2023, and to the Honorable Union Minister. Uh, Union Home and Cooperation Minister, come on, Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, come on, New Delhi, which is also dated 30th March 2023. The concern expressed by the petitioner is that that um, violence still continues in this in said areas, and uh, there is an absolute failure on the part of the state police in bringing the situation under control. It is also pointed out that in certain areas, the internet connection has also been uh, suspended. Full stop. <laughs> the, there are other learned advocates who have also uh, who also mentioned that they also seek to file uh, similar petitions, but however the court made it clear that they will be heard in the matter so that multiplicity can be avoided. It is submitted by the London Advocate that in the procession, firearms were used and uh, this was not prevented by the state police, which led to a lot of innocent people being injured, severely injured. The London uh, Advocate General appearing for the uh, state uh, would submit that the situation is under control and uh, and um, would, uh, would like to highlight certain other issues as such as how the 
conditions imposed by the commissioner of police howra in the uh, license slash permission granted were violated as to how uh, two groups had joined the procession and also about the cases which have been registered uh, um, and statements have been recorded under section 161 crpc uh, let a comprehensive report be filed on all covering all aspects uh, with liberty to um, produce um, uh, cctv footages uh, um, um, cctv and video mallet as on well. video footages on the next hearing date the uh, the respondent state shall ensure that the innocent uh, innocent public the public not innocent the public of the area are not in any manner affected uh, by any fresh incidents of any violence or arson and the law and order should be kept under control the school going children should be the safety of the school going children and the businessmen should be sufficiently safeguarded full stop list the matter on when do you want it millard whenever millard your lot should keep it whenever we can post it what wednesday wednesday list on wednesday engage a report saying it Mm. But since the state is filing the report by Wednesday, could it be on Thursday so that we could consider the report and come back on the next date? No, oh, so no problem. Um, let the report be filed. Uh, uh, it needless to state that uh, adequate deployment of police force shall be made so that the peace and tranquility <laughs> prevails in the said it's area. Not, not. Let the report be filed uh, not later than fifth uh, April, twenty twenty-three. with uh, after serving advance copies on the learned advocate uh, for the writ petition no it is to start upon our side by the complexity of the petition that we all file separate petition no no that ag will uh, get all the and let my batch of writ let me my petition is already filed Yeah, All right. Uh, tag uh, W P M so also list the matter on six. Union be also served with a copy of the report. Yes, yes. All. Uh, let the matter be listed on sixth, sixth uh, April in the same position. Great for you. Please mark the appearance. Sir. Yes. May we take that those copies? Will not. Ah, uh, yes. You give that sir for affirmation. No, no. You return the sub. Mr. Mojumdar, in the second judge's copy, the last page is not. You return the supplementary affirmation. It's huh? up to page fifty-eight. You are placing page fifty-nine. Both the copies you give. You serve copy on the, yes. all all of them. Finally, check up. We'll get it. I don't know, but two. Mala diagram number two. Mala diagram for the petition. Definitely, our service be kept on. Yes, after. Mala actually, mala. I have sir notice upon the respondent that the matter will be taken up tomorrow. Though Malad copy has already been sir, so Malad. Uh, Now you want to restore the water body? No, against against the Malad uh, filling of the water body, Malad. Against the filling of water body. What you want to protect the water body? Malad. And, And Malad, Malad the additional Malad uh, copper Malad. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, sir. Kinam. Yeah. additional assistant director of malad fisheries malad by a letter date uh, 20 17 page 17 ha uh. malad directed the concerned municipality mohistala municipality malad to take action no action has yet been taken malad the construction is going on malad one after I, i think to appear on behalf of the municipality uh, oh, let me allow malad to get a copy from my learned friend malad i am yet no. to already the assistant director of fisheries Uh, south southeast <coughs> pargana on 20th of january is written you take action on this no but i beg to appear on behalf of the PT, uh, municipality right, i require sir. i require one copy from my learned no, friend not require he will give you a copy but i will give yes. him a copy within man. a week or 10 days you take action on this report lots we will dispose of the report petition and malad uh, the assistant fisheries officer and the municipality also malad 
sir assistant there you give him one copy yes my lord now you give him sir i am giving him you take page 17 lords author of page 17 complaint received yes, by sri sanjeev adhikari on so on so in connection with ongoing illegal lords. filling of pond measuring 18 katha so on so and he has written assistant director of you why are you keeping quiet Uh, that is two separate authority one is municipality and fisheries officer is separate though my lord in you, you are a person who is a yes, trustee of the area authority. lord see if the pond is in the municipal area yes ma'am you are bound to protect it yes, yes. ma'am you don't require somebody to come and inform you yes, saying that the pond is being filled yeah, up admitted uh, i may be allowed to take uh, instruction from the authority and come back ma'am this writ petition has been filed as a public interest litigation heard a uh, first part to and <clears throat> ensure that to ensure that the illegal filling of a pond in so and so place hmm? i think it is there in the prayer huh? in so and so place in the prayer it is there hmm? be immediately stopped and the water body be kept intact the petitioner had submitted complaints to all the respondents and uh, their complaint was taken on record by the assistant director of fisheries from a south 24 perganas and by memo dated 20th january 2023 the said authority has addressed the <coughs> six respondent <coughs> municipality bringing to know their notice about the complaint given by the petitioner in connection with the ongoing illegal filling of a pond though the said communication had been sent as early as on 20th january 2023 comma it appears that no action was taken by the municipality which has prompted the writ petitioner to approach this court by way of this public interest litigation it is not clear as to why the municipality has not taken any action uh, on the uh, complaint given by the petitioner which was duly forwarded by the assistant director of fisheries south 24 perganas district in the light of the above we direct the sixth respondent municipality to immediately cause an inspection uh, no to uh, cause an inspection of the um, uh, pond in question within 24 hours from the date of receipt of the server copy of this order and if it is found that illegal filling is going on this same shall be immediately stopped and if any portion of the filling has been done the same shall be uh, removed and restored to the original position giving liberty to the municipality to proceed against the persons who are engaged in the illegal filling and to realize cost from the mallard hmm. and also realize the cost of restoration of the water body to the original position uh, uh, with the above direction the red petition stands disposed of already right. it is also uh, seen that uh, a criminal complaint has been get, uh, lodged with the which police station mohesh talap mohesh talap police station rabindranagar 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 police station rabindranagar rabindranagar police station and uh, fir number 14 of 21 the uh, fir 14 dated 21st january 2023 has been uh, registered huh? under section 17 capital capital a of, uh, the, of the inland fisheries within bracket amendment act 1993 uh, 17 capital a of inland fishery we direct the inspector in charge rambindranagar police station uh, south 24 perganas district to proceed further uh, pursuant to the fir which has been registered on 21st january 2020 this post on deep yeah item number 3 i am uh, i am for the petitioner uh, my lord service is not completed kindly give us two weeks time no i pay for the state respondent what is this sir lord my lord will kindly come to page 69 69 this is a order of the honorable court pilot lord it was alleged that the government lord land has been encroached 
Mm. You know, the on dishonorable court by order dated 31st of October 2022 mm. directed the district magistrate to take court steps and consider the representation of the petitioner. Very good. You know, the district magistrate in page 80 has considered the same you know, but you know, unfortunately to the understanding of the learned district magistrate, he dismissed the matter because the petitioner was not present. You know, my humble understanding of the Honorable Court, sorry, Milad, he ought to have, because the representation was before the district magistrate, Milad, he ought to have taken cognizance of it. He mm. ought to have did the disposition. He is present or not? Absolutely, should. absolutely, man, absolutely. So, Milad, my Lord, be kindly you know, subject subject to my Lord's kind approval, Milad, your Lordship may set aside this order, mm. directing the district magistrate to consider the representation which is at page 52 on merits. This, uh, this red petition has been filed as a public interest litigation praying for an issuance of a writ of mandamus to set aside the order passed by the district magistrate Purva Medhiniput District dated 28th, now, 28th December 2022. The petitioner had approached this court on an earlier occasion uh, uh, alleging that in this matter, I am advocate on record. We will allow you in this matter. In this, this matter, I am this matter, I am at the time of hearing on 28th when DM has fixed the matter. Hmm. At that time, my lord, we have prayed for time. No, no, we will set aside. Hmm? I, I am for the private respondents, my lord. Right. Hmm. Huh? Alleging that plantation was done in open space in front of the Gram Panchayat and the private respondent has destroyed the plantation and extended his business by encroaching upon the government land for personal gain. The, uh, my lord, I have the, I have the, uh, my lord, it is, my lord, falsely alleged, my lord. The, uh, it is the totally false honorable, allegation, my the, lord. Uh, the Honorable Division Bench, come up, without going into the merits of the matter, directed the fourth respondent therein, namely the district magistrate, to duly consider the grievance raised in the representation dated 2nd September 2022 and take appropriate action in accordance with the law after giving opportunity of hearing to all the concerned parties. A time frame was also fixed to complete the entire exercise. Though such was the direction issued, come on, uh, on account of the non-appearance of the petitioner, the representation has been rejected by the district magistrate. Unfortunately, the district magistrate did not appreciate the scope of the direction issue in the earlier petition, namely WPA, WPA within bracket B, 505 of 2022, dated 31st October 2022. The district magistrate ought to have taken into consideration that the petitioner was a public interest litigant and he is and his grievance is that that said that the private respondents have encroached upon government land therefore even if the writ petitioner was not present comma the representation should have been dealt with on merits uh, since the private respondent was present at the time of hearing therefore we are uh, therefore the order passed, order dated 28th December 2022 has to be set aside. Accordingly, the repetition is allowed. The order my Lord, my submission be recorded, my Lord. On uh, behalf of the private respondent, I am opposing uh, the petition. The, and the uh, allegations uh, are baseless. The, next hmm? the learned advocate appearing for the private respondent submitted that the allegation of encroachment is absolutely false and the representation uh, and, uh, and, um, and there, the is no there is no encroachment. My Lord. And the destroy, uh, which has been alleged, my lord, that trees, everything is destroyed. It is totally false, my lord. And all the allegations raised by the petitioner in the representation are false. Full stop. In any event, uh, we have we, we are inclined to set aside the order passed by the district magistrate dated 28th December 2022 on the ground that the, the representation ought to have been considered on merits and not rejected solely for the reason that the appellate, that the writ petitioner was not present. Therefore, it is for the district magistrate to consider the allegations, conduct an inquiry in the presence of parties, and thereafter take a decision on merits and in accordance with law. In the result, the writ petition is allowed. 
the order passed by the district magistrate dated 28 December 2022 is set aside and the district magistrate is directed to consider the petitioner's representation Page dated 52. 2nd September 2022, if necessary, uh, direct an inspection to be conducted of the area and after hearing the parties, pass a recent order on merits and in accordance with the law. The above exercise shall be completed within a period of three weeks from the date of only thing that this is a representation representation by the advocate of the petitioner. <laughs> representation of the petitioner submitted through his advocate. We remain grateful. Mila. Within a period of three weeks from the date of receipt of the server copy of my the lord. Talk. Since my lord, uh, I have not uh, used any affidavit in opposition. Let my, let the allegations be, my lord. Yes, sir, that we have said. We are grateful, my lord. Deeply obliged, my lord. Item number four. Yes. I am for the Kolkata Municipal Corporation. I am for the private respondent number 9 to 12, my lord. Now, my lord, in this matter, this is a matter of 1999. At that material time, my lord, the petitioner complained of uh, filling up tank and mm. my lord, non maintenance no, of. It has been no, no, my lord, it, it has not been filled. It is still there. Now, and, lord, and private respondents are well maintaining the property. was pleased to direct. But was as pleased to appoint Mr. Oppona Bondavad Dhaya's amicus query. As petitioner was we have also said. submitted a report stating the present position. It has been found that my lord tank and the greeneries are being maintained. Maintained. Where is that report? My lord, I have filed uh, my lord an affidavit on uh, uh, have you got an extra copy of January the... 22, 25th January 22. 15, I have filed the affidavit. January. 15 January 2022, KMC submitted the report. 25th January. 15th Jan 15th February 2022. Okay, we don't have that. Lord, got a copy of that. Oh, lord. I have not been served, my lord. I am the private respondent. Private respondent. Ah, this is there. Ah, this is my task. Water come body is still there, my lord. And private respondents are well maintaining the property. Come to page 5, my lord. And who's for the red petitioner? Lord, they are not taking interest. So, on so many occasions, matter was taken up for hearing, my lord. Nobody uh -huh. is appearing on behalf of the petitioner. None appears for the petitioner. So and so, so and so appears, uh, heard so and so, so and so. Learned advocates appearing for the respondents. The writ petition was filed in the year 1999, alleging that. What is the. Oops. The applications for the of the of the of the to see that the change of land and slash or use of pattern of tank situated in Rakal Gore so and so. I put a Slip here, hmm? page 18 of the writ petition. Hmm? So and so, so not 24 parganas should not be damaged and slash or destroyed, uh, destroyed. And the trees standing on the bank of the tank should not be cut and removed by the private respondents. The writ petition has been adjourned from time to time, and uh, the, the respondent. Uh, and an affidavit has been filed on behalf of the respondents two to five. Affirmed on. Affirmed on, my lord, 25th January, 25th January 2022. Till date, no exception has been filed to the said affidavit by the writ petitioner. The deponent of the affidavit is the executive engineer within bracket civil, comma environment, comma environment and heritage department. Come on, Kolkata Municipal Corporation. Paragraph 6, my lord. It is uh, submitted that the ins an inspection was conducted on 6th August 2021 with a view to ascertain the present status of the matter. And at that, um, and during local inquiry, it was found that there exists a water body just beside the premises number 35 bar H bar 2, Rakal Ghosh Lane, which is surrounded by some dwelling houses, come a boundary wall and some trees. 
it is stated that the water body was found to be more or less in good condition and no filling work was noticed during the inspection further as per nrsa within bracket aerial map no water body has been found in the above subject premises but as per departmental departmental tank list, list a pond exists at the premises number 41 rakal gosh lane with pond serial number 243 and as per the tank list the area of the pond is 1350 square meters the affidavit filed by the executive engineer uh, comma civil within bracket civil comma environment heritage department kolkata municipal corporation is taken on record and there will be a direction to the kolkata municipal corporation to ensure that the water body slash pond uh, is preserved and no encroachments shall be made in the said pond uh, said pond with the above observation the red petition stands disposed of deeply organized next i don't know five i appear for the union yes i appear for the hmm? yes. application also disposed of ne ne please sir but i appear for the kolkata municipal corporation i i think my lot because it was filed by, uh, in the year 2002 it's relating to traffic and all other problems and by now my lot uh, Uh, the situation has gone a sea change, my lord. The mm. development is there. A court-appointed committee was there, mm. but everything is there. Many various reports are there. Mm. I think the issue is no more subsisting, my lord. Subject to my lord's kind consideration. And wh- what was the That's prayer? The We find hundred order sheets. Yes, my lord. Okay. Because one after another are in this matter, my lord. One after okay. another. Let, let us, uh, what is that? That is the prayer. Ah, huh? oh, petition. Your lordship, today I believe the this petition is full of order sheets. Here. Uh-huh. One big file full of order sheets. There are several. <laughs> oh, let us see the red petition. <laughs> it has Capias, areas, branches, sub branches, my lord. One after another issue was entangled with these, my lord, and the uh, scope of the red petition has been enlarged because it was entertained by the. Red petition of the Victoria Memorial. You are for the red petition. I am for the vast government. I am for the army authorities. I am appealing for the Victoria Memorial. appropriate steps to for preservation protection maintenance of historic monuments yes hmm. recommendation of the national environmental engineer protection of museum stop leaking rain water through rooftop aspen to shift for victoria memorial hall what is all this he wants to maintain entire kolkata yes my lord yes but thing is uh, regarding victoria my lord uh, once upon a time the uh, uh, problem relating to water was there a committee was there my lord reports were there and my lord environmental no, aspect nobody is appearing for the red petition no, no one is in person the petitioner appears in and number 2 appears in person today he is not present i had informed him that the matter is listed today just few minutes back matter could be adjourned and fixed on a date he shall we'll and it could be disposed of on that date no what we'll do is we'll uh, will issue notice to him saying that the matter will be heard sometime yes. next week no, no. Uh, it appears that the petitioner is appearing in person however is not present today let registry serve notice on the writ petitioners huh, that the writ petition will be heard by this court on 17th april list the matter under I the same i also informed him ha ah, you also yes, yes. Please, good somebody can give, file a you short lordship. status report yes status on, report on the last date you lot of status report my lord can be given by the victoria memorial authority itself whether my lord pursuant to the direction of this honorable court my lord the steps were taken or not no no state government will because removal no, of the state the government has taken from the media knowledge that is the state prayer. government may say it may be my lord uh, reported hmm hmm philosophy may permit may I hand over the petitioner's email address so that the registry could All serve right. him by the registry shall also uh, yes, uh, serve notice on the writ petitioners by email uh, in the following email id much of item 6 is the same person my lord This is my lord. A matter I am appearing for the corporation, my lord, hmm. Kolkata Municipal Corporation, my lord. 
In this matter, my lord, under World Bank's program, my lord, uh, there is a, uh, uh, my lord. Uh, so this is also by the same writ petitioner. Same writ petitioner, my lord. It is my lord, here the drainage system was questioned, my lord, basically, and my lord, there has been a uh, radical change in the drainage system, my lord, under the World Bank's uh, 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 system, my lord, with the World Bank's money, it has been done. It has been done. Now the question of uh, last occasion. There is a direction to the municipal corporation. Yes, my lord. A report is there. Report. The report is there. All right. Uh, let the matter also be uh, listed on 17. As uh, same order, sir. Uh, As my lord. the email also. Uh, 17. You also clean your hand. Next, item seven. None appears for the petitioner. None appears for the petitioner. The red petition is closed, hmm? giving liberty to the petitioner to approach the concerned authority if still a need arises to do so. This post off with the above observation. Next. Item number eight. Not eight, my lord. I am for the petition. My lord, uh, my learned friend is appearing for the state after the change brief. My lord, probably he has no brief today. My lord, your lordship can fix the matter three weeks after my lord. I shall, my lord, also, my lord, it is a matter of 2010. Hmm. My lord, uh, in this regard, my lord, uh, already uh, one. Uh, some uh, persons have already gone to the Supreme Court and in Supreme Court it is going, it is regarding the cut-off marks that the OBC's cut-off marks is my Lord, the more, much more higher than that of the, my Lord, the uh, uh, general candidate. For that, my Lord, I am challenging by way of this and there is other matter also is there. And it's a, at that time, my Lord, it is a process, uh, 2010 my Lord, selection process, my Lord. And my Lord, that is still going on in Supreme Court. Some matters is going on. So if your Lordship can oh, give me some time, whether the petitioner is at all today interested or not, I don't. But what happened to the, the by now the vacancies would have been filled up. No, my Lord. What happens, my Lord? Vacancy has been filled up. Oh. But what happens, my Lord, uh, regarding these issues, my Lord, one time, my Lord, the state government has been given in one matter, has given a my Lord, uh, affidavit that they will, my Lord, create super numeric post for the purpose of giving this person to give appointment. So, my Lord, that, that matter is still going on in Supreme Court, my Lord. And I'll probably, my Lord, uh, though, my Lord, I have not collected that order, some order has been for, uh, passed in respect of the petitioner in uh, th those matters. So, you are not able to contact the petitioner? No. At present, my Lord, I have not contacted. Because the last, the matter was listed on? Probably, my Lord, 1st uh, February 2020. 8th February. Thereafter, I have wrote my lot. <laughs> so, if your lordship kindly give me only three weeks' time, if it is four weeks, my lord, four weeks' time. My learned friend said, my lord, four weeks. The learned advocate appearing for the upper level petitioner submits. That he requests uh, time, no, uh, request time yeah. to get instruction from the petitioner and also to uh, ascertain the outcome of the proceedings which are initiated before the Honorable Supreme Court. In fact, a similar prayer was made on 30th of November 2021, and the, and the uh, court adjourned the matter to 1st of February 2022. We are uh, uh, full stop. When the matter is taken up today, a similar request is made. Therefore, let the matter go out of the list with liberty to the writ petitioner to seek for inclusion in the list after the disposal of the matter by the Honorable Supreme Court. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
I don't know month nine. Our day, if you for the municipality concerned. Prop the state, your lot. Middle senior and so couple point. Lord, I appear on behalf of the Miller Pivot respondent. And Mr. Bijay Adhikari was appearing for the petition. Lord, they are not interested at not all really. because, Lord, Lord uh, it is a very old matter and there was a conversion order. And after the conversion order was passed, if you, Lord, see kindly come to Lord at page 339, my Lord. 339 of the paper book, my Lord. Paper book is given. Paper book that is it now. Lord supplementary affidavit, my lord, it was annexed annexed. Paper book is what is the prayer in the read petition? Prayer in the read petition, my lord, is Lord, may, as far as I recollect, Lord, as a correspondence, you have not been served with the paper book. I have got all the loose papers. But as far as I recollect, the prayer in the read petition was, my Lord, it was a read petition filed entirely challenging the conversion. Conversion, per, per, pursuant to the conversion, the alleged constructions being made. Mm. And my Lord, there were two read petitions filed, as I recollect. The one was earlier disposed of. Mm. In this second read petition was, my Lord, called out, saying that this will be heard separately. Number Lord, several affidavits have been filed by the municipality, the state response, everything. Mm. Number if your Lordship peruses the one, one, the last couple of orders passed by the Honorable Bench, my Lord, the point of maintainability was also there, whether my Lord, this can be continued any further or not. But that, because the earlier, on earlier occasion, this Honorable Bench had directed, given the choice to the petitioner, whether you want to file any petition challenging the action taken by the state government, regularizing the, or the, my Lord, recording the names. But possibly subject to correction, that has not been filed. He had declined to do so. Number that was the point. It was last heard the position. Number today, I do not have this uh, all the loose papers. Lot sixteen twelve was the order. That they were directed 16 12 2021. Were directed that to challenge the by way of an amendment. That is true. They did not. Uh -huh. But not uh, one after another order was passed, but they did not come forward. They are not even appearing. But uh, when the matter came on 8th February 2022. Uh, yes. Uh, somebody ask, has appeared ask for me, Lord, The order was passed, my Lord. Yes, Lord Sip. 8th of February 2022. Uh, somebody has appeared for the petitioner. Somebody appeared. Yes, yes. He appeared for yes. the petitioner. And there, my lord, the direction was given to the state government to submit a report. Now, my lord, report was submitted by KMDA about the status of the property. Because part of the property, my lord, was acquired by, under the Land Acquisition Act. <coughs> lord, the municipal authority, my lord, constructed a Paka road on it. And thereafter, my lord, in 2020, my lord, conversion has been made. And thereafter, my lord, three lord, uh, multi-storied building has been raised. At least, my lord, 100 uh, uh, dwellers, my lord, are residing there. This is the status of the property. So the conversion order uh, granting conversion has to be challenged? That, that did not. They did not. But he says that he was being threatened. They, the petitioner was threatened. That, he... that is absolutely wrong, my lord. False. We have said, denied but... it. We said May it I was know. not that. And uh, whoever is the occupant in that area, he should, they should be implied. But I tell you, Lord Shri Marad, I, again, my Lord, I express my inability of the lack of papers. My Lord, I, as I recollect, since substantially old matter, my Lord, those, uh, the inhabitants, as it's fallen from your Lordship right now, my Lord, substantially back, there was an order, my Lord, directing the municipality to serve notice upon the inhabitants, which was done. The hearing was taken, some of them appeared, most of them did not. So that is, that proceeding is also there, my Lord, uh, a few years back. And may I make the, make this prayer? My Lord, since the petitioner is not here, my Lord, if your Lordship posts in another day and may I get a copy of the paper book and come back to you, because I have the loose papers, I can submit from your Lord to your Lordship on the basis of that. But possibly the pages will not tell you with your Lordships. Not only this, my Lord, that second read petition is also not maintainable because they were directed, first read petition was filed. They were directed to uh, make a representation before the authority, uh, fishing authorities. And then uh, the Pisari's authorities were directed to decide the uh, representation in accordance with law after giving opportunity of being hard to all the parties. Division men passed an order. The Honorable Justice, the then Honorable Justice, he said, Nijot. 
Lord, they did not. They again file a petition instead of making a representation before the authority. Lord, practically, but second, there were two writ petitions. Yes. One was disposed of. Uh, yes. But the division bench says this has to be heard yes, separately. Yes, 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 yes. Therefore, this was. Uh, yes, that order we have an ex Lord, in our supplementary affidavit. There were how second writ petition is maintainable, I do not understand, my Lord. None appears for the petitioner. Let the matter be listed in the monthly list of May 2023. It will be Lordship's pleasure to direct that the correspondence be favored with the paper. Uh, books the also. petitioner, uh, by, 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 all right. the uh, learned advocate for the petitioner shall ensure that the copies of the paper book are served on all the ad learned advocates appearing for the respondents. I'm deeply obliged. Item number 10. None appears for the petitioner. So also appears for the state. From the order sheet, we are able to find that even on the earlier occasions, None appears for the petition, appeared for the petitioner. Hence, it pushed and dismissed for non prosecution Next. I don't know, 11. I appear for the petition of Malad in this matter. Mm. We require some instruction, Malad. We could not, times could not be contacted. Only one each time may be granted, Malad. Same prayer was made yes. uh, in no February 2020. We have no instruction. We have, that's no, you don't have instruction. Right now, but we have to again write them. To... No, no, we can't be adjourning. See, sir, there are 50, 60 order sheets. Every time the matter is listed, there's a lot of work which has been done to prepare this yes, list. Sir. And what is the prayer you want? My Lord, I am not aware of the fact, my Lord. This is the problem, man. Who's appearing? I have not know, my Lord, which is an old file, man. I have to. One is time, maybe granted. To give a fresh representation, let them decide. Yeah, simply the matter has been adjourned, adjourned, adjourned. <laughs> this we'll dispose it off, we'll give liberty. This red petition has been filed as a public interest litigation, praying for a direction upon the respondents to procure anti hemophilia factors and anti inhibitor coagulant complex, commonly known as factor Roman 7 or FEIBA, all capitals, and make them available to the state government hospitals and medical colleges and universities for free and safe treatment of hemo hemophilic patients in the state of West Bengal. The writ petition was filed in, in the year 2010. And on 29th May 2014, the Director of Health Services and Ex-Officio Secretary West Bengal had filed a status report. Uh, 
uh, after giving the various details, comma, it has been stated that that the motto motto M O T T O of the respondent is to provide free factor treatment to all the patients who are suffering from with hemophilia within a very short time. Uh, though the matter has been adjourned from time to time to enable the petitioner to sub, uh, to file um, uh, you strike out that the writ petition has, has uh, writ petition has been adjourned from time to time huh? uh, at the request of the writ petitioner even today such a prayer has been made considering the, <laughs> that the case is of the year 2010 and the status report had been filed in the year 2014 come we are of the view that that if the if there is no improvement huh, in the facilities which are provided for to persons suffering from hemophilia huh, come on, we give liberty to the petitioner to submit a fresh representation to the uh, director of health services and the ex officio secretary west bengal hmm? west bengal uh, setting out uh, the, gri the, the grievances uh, in a precise manner if such representation is uh, precise manner along with the uh, said representation a copy of this order shall also be appended on receipt of the representation the said authority shall consider the same uh, and take action in accordance with the disposal it will be Petitioner, petitioner. I don't know, 12. <laughs> but I appear for the petitioner, my lord. Bar Association of this Honorable Court, mm -hmm. my lord. But this is relating to the saddest incident of Netai, my lord, when mass killing took place in the year 2011. My lord, with due attention of the Honorable Court, under the monitoring of this Honorable Court, my lord, the investigation was transferred from, uh, my lord, the CID to CBI. My Lord, since then, 12 years have elapsed. Out of 120, 115, my Lord, witnesses, only till day 26 witnesses have been examined. As a result, whereof, my Lord, what has happened, all the accused persons who are there, because of this delay in proceeding, my Lord, they have got the bail. Now they are, my Lord, exercising their muscles once again. My Lord, this is the situation. My Lord, my Lord will kindly see the order dated 6 December 2021 first, my Lord. Yes. But here, my lord will find that uh, two, two parts were there. One is compensation and the other was, my lord, uh, the investigation and trial. The compensation part by now has over, my lord. This government has enhanced the compensation to the extent of 5 lakhs from 2 lakhs in respect of the persons who uh, go, uh, sought uh, dead and in respect of the injured persons, my lord, from 1 lakh to 2 lakh. That part is over. But the thing is, my lord, those persons and the families, my lord, are still crying for the justice. Your lords will kindly appreciate this. Then, my lord, your lords will kindly but see. Till date, investigation is not over. No, the, the CBA. no, no. Lord, 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 the examination of witnesses, your lords will kindly allow me. Yeah, yeah. Examination of witnesses, my lord. The questions were made before the uh, parliament in Rajya Sabha, my lord, one of the, by one of the honorable member of Rajya Sabha. They are, my lord, it was intimated from the honorable prime minister's uh, uh, secretary uh, office, my lord, that only. Uh, 26 persons have been examined so far. Out of, your lots, out of 150, your lots, you can only see the pace of examination or the pace of my lot um, uh, trial, how it is going on for more than a decade. Sir, your lots, you can you see the last one? Your lots, you can see. February. On uh, February 15, my lot, uh, in 2022. By now, we have completed one, uh, one year or another. My lord, that was CBI six for the time no, to file the status. CBI has not filed status report. No, no. So far as CBI is concerned, I am not representing CBI. I am Who's a... appearing for CBI? Lord, uh, earlier, Mr. Edulji was appearing. I am okay. told, my lord, that Mr. Edulji is no more in the CBI panel. Let the my lord, your lord, lord kindly see the huh. ultimate. Then you serve the uh, counsel for CBI. I don't no, lord, he has to have a notice. Lord, the 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 CBI, that, that is not no. true to us. Uh, yes. Or you can... He's, let him give a notice to the Lord ASG, my lord. Uh. Finally, because ASG only appeared last time. Yes, but that is Mr. Dastu. No, no, my lord, uh, my lord, hope the uh, Mr. Dastu is no more the ASG. But office is there. He knows, sir. 
as if i don't know that no no this is uh, not that it's not that not for that reason yes he was here for the first matter yes, today i see right. then i said give a notice mal he is not in the cbi panel like so therefore we will say that you serve notice in the office of the additional solicitor general as my lord he will no nominate it to the standing rooms as my lord pleases we shall do that our intention is on to my lord sir 15th february 2022 the the matter was to be adjourned to enable the cbi to file status report it appears that the learned advocate who was appearing for cbi is no longer in the panel the uh, learned con- uh, advocate for the petitioner shall uh, inform the office of the additional solicitor general about the pendency of this matter so that the uh, cbi can uh, file their status report on the next hearing date this matter may my lord uh, we would humbly beseech upon my lord kindly fix a short date my lord so that we can it can't come within 4 weeks sir hmm? let us see next i don't know 13 copy kar do copy kar do appear for the added respondent okay Well, there are two paper books. I appear for the petition. Mm. Paper book? Our own. Ah, this. Oh, only one. Very good. Paper book. Ah, this. 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 Kishoram Industries Cotton Mill. So, 55 acres of land were vested to the state. Hmm. After vesting, my lord, the procedure is under Section Six, Subsection One. There is a process of retention of land. Now, so far as A to G of Section Six, Subsection One, hmm. the retention is automatic. And so far as F and G is concerned, mill is concerned, retention is not automatic. they have to seek a permission from the state and get an order of retention from the state which has not been done so miller that will be followed by resumption of land state has power to resume the land so resumption proceedings has started miller there were several complaints lodged that illegal construction filling filling up of water bodies cutting of trees everything is was going on since 2010 that's the reason you know 2011 the petition was filed stating everything the complaint was forwarded to all the departments of the land and their no action was taken recently they have initiated the proceeding under 14z2 of the west bengal land reform act proceeding has started to resume the land to resume the land now my lord what happened the promoter or the developer who was making such illegal construction a money laundering case has been initiated by the ed here those parties have been added and my learned friend is appearing for those parties on mansoor ali khan who has affirmed the affidavit in the in the lot you will find in the volume number 2 in in, in the added respondent though those are added respondent now the state has given clearly stated you know that so far as these lands are concerned 14 z2 has been initiated which are required to be brought by supplementary affidavit that is not there so i want to bring on those these facts before the dishonorable court now uh, uh, what is the status? position is this millard the entire what they have done is this man are deviating from the west bengal estate acquisition act they have amalgamated the property changed the name of the company by way of you know amalgamation by merger and getting order from the court and doing mutation from the corporation this is what they have done now uh, the new company amalgamated company they have got a uh, order for retention have they obtained an order no retention order till date now i this... appear for the company millard i appear for millard the pri- added respondent millard now millard uh, possibly millard the facts that have been presented now in a fragmented manner millard section 4 and section 5 of the notices uh, of the millard the asset acquisition act is a general notice millard declaring that the all lands millard vested to the state now this sections millard the operation of law is subject to fulfillment of section 6 of the asset acquisition act this act was millard essentially promulgated in the year 1953 
for a period of one day in so far as the vesting is concerned and millard section 6 millard is a proceeding which millard speaks about millard that how much land i am in uh, millard entitled to retain millard under this proceeding and section 10 of the act millard it speaks millard that the government is entitled after resumption to millard take possession of the land hmm. unless millard section 6 and section 10 of these provision are complied with millard the process of acquisition uh, that's sorry millard vesting is not said to be completed in terms of the legislative intent be that as it may millard the company millard the, the the amalgamation is not a matter of millard the wishes of the private individual this honorable court millard in a proceeding initiated under section 391 and 394 subsection 3 subject to correction of the then that, that comp six the that was amalgamated now, Millard, what happened? The state Millard had sought to initiate a proceeding under the misconception of law, and accordingly, a read petition was preferred before your lordship's court before the single bench. Now, Millard, before that, Millard, your lordship is well aware that are well aware, Millard, that there is a legislation, Urban Land Sealing Act, for which the land Millard occupied by the structures and tin sheds Millard, those lands are not coming within the purview of the operation either by the Land Reforms Act. In and will not subject to the limitation engrafted in the section 14T, 14S, 14M, and 14J thereof. There is a ceiling limit. Now, Miller, these lands are not covered by this. Be that as it may, the authority concerned was not Miller, was maintaining silence with regard to grant of permission of giving sanction. The KMC authorities, Miller, in terms of the sanction plan given by my client submitted and the other authorities, Miller, they were maintaining silence. Accordingly, a read petition was preferred before your Lordship's court. The, your Lordship's court directed the authority to take a decision on this issue. Permission was granted by the Urban Land Sealing Act. Thereafter, Millard, under the Land Reforms Act, Millard, there was a proceeding initiated by the state authorities. We questioned the propriety of such Millard proceeding. It was a misconcept on our part to prefer an appropriate application, Millard, before your Lordship's court. It should have been Millard filed before Millard the DLLRO, District Land and Land Reform Submission, under Section 54 of the Land Reforms Act, which speaks about appellate provision. We filed it. The appellate authority, Millard, set aside Millard, the procedure, Millard, adopted by the authority. Thereafter, Millard, according to my learned senior friend, they further initiated a proceeding. Now, the question is, Millard, today, that first, whether by way of a general notification under Section 4 and 5, it is automatic or not, that is for your lordships to decide, subject to what the other side will say. Second, when there is a proceeding that was initiated under the Land Reforms Act for the so-called alleged resumption of the land and which was set aside by the District Land and Land Reforms Officer Millard under the Land Reforms Act, the state had not preferred any appeal against the decision nor Mr. Chatterjee. Oh, you, you are appearing for the respondents 12 to 18. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did you come into possession of the Millard, land? I co possession because of the amalgamation, Millard. I became the owner of the land because I said, Millard, in my affidavit, no, let us, Millard, no, kindly, no. Millard, no, Kindly, no. Millard, turn, Millard, my affidavit. That is Akhilesh's property. Yes, yes, yes. Millard. Yes. But kindly uh, allow me to read the affidavit of my, and, and so far as the state stand is concerned, which in a way lends assistance to your lordship, Millard, there is a bridge between these two affidavits. Kindly, Millard, permit me. Millard, my learned friend is Millard, uh, uh, said, has said just now the two a, a paper book. I am not armed with any paper book, Millard. I am. Uh, he also don't have paper book. He said, Millard, the paper yes, book. Yes, sir. Is there? Those are five. I do not have Hang the back, it was fine. <laughs> so this matter has to be heard. Yes, Lord. Ah. That's the point. It has to be heard. The entire affidavit in opposition filed by the Oculus properties, you know, the added respondent, those are to be gone into detail. And you know, how the amalgamation was done by virtue of the amendment that came into force of the West Bengal Estate Acquisition Act. No, no, what those are not permitted at all. What is the effect of the amalgamation on these proceedings, it can't have any effect. No, they will bring all the other facts, my lord. The original name of the original Miller. company has been so changed. So prejudice, my lord. Correct. So therefore, what are, whatever uh, that Kesoram Industries, the stand cannot change. They cannot take a different stand now. They are They're, taking so. They <laughs> can't. They That's can't. the point, my lord. <laughs> That's the point. They have to sink or sail on the same set of facts as pleaded by Kesoram. Lord Kesoram Industries, their name has been changed thrice in different times. Maybe. It doesn't, no. See, whatever title Kesoram had, alleged title, the same title only can get passed on. He can't better his time. Absolutely. 
that is the second proposition madam absolutely absolutely so, uh, therefore uh, uh, forget about uh, amalgamation change of name 10 names also let it change but you argue the matter on merits lordship hmm. first of all he has to show millard subject to correction millard in view of millard state of uttaranchal versus shofal singh 2010 3 scc page 1415 paragraph 1843 and 181 the honorable supreme court millard long back has framed millard the directions law under article 141 millard which your lordship known under article 144 all civil and judicial authority come must come in aid of supreme i will be framed. high court has been directed millard to frame the millard regulations with recovering millard this field appeal now millard no, passed the credibility file your supplementary affidavit you bring that annexing uh, that document millard annexing the document we will fix the matter in the monthly list of may in the under the heading hearing deeply obliged ha uh, it can't be done no, uh, let it be the month but kindly millard i will millard i will pay yes. millard i will pay man. i will pay cost millard to my learned friend if you are kindly direct him to pay the millard so But provide me the copy if he has already paid 13 uh, there is no can, can pending we have not filed any can of. can all cans are disposed of i can't remember madam and one our can no our can no it's not our can if i could amra i am not filed any can any can application is pending yes 3122 is for addition of party that is filed and by me disposed of already disposed added already yes i have been yes, added yes. yes i filed affidavit that has been disposed has been added yes. permit will it kindly I, i am ready to pay the cost will it so far as the I mean, if your cost of paper book is concerned they said will it they served me long back i can't remember i am not finding out but well, i will say same thing to me that cost and all we won't record you Please take it to the order. The same will be given to me by the state funder because uh, in your prior after hearing the learned advocates appearing for the respective parties, this court is of the considered view that this matter is to be heard out finally, as paid for as jointly paid for by the learned advocates for the parties. List this matter under the head head hearing in the combined monthly list of cases. For the month of June, first of paragraph, can uh, one of twenty thirteen when it was disposed of, Mister Boss? That is the employee. Uh, ah, that is disposed of. In that sector, uh, uh, it has been submitted by the learned advocates for the parties that can one of twenty thirteen is an application for addition of party which has since been disposed of. First of, the learned register IT. is directed to ensure that this application is not shown to be pending in the docket of this honorable court when it he has sought for uh, supplementary affidavit if the leave is granted to him will it kindly direct him to <coughs> as paid for by the learned advocate for the petitioner uh, leave is granted and we will have the liberty to file an objection to file a supplementary affidavit let such let such supplementary affidavit be filed within Two weeks from date. Bless you. Disposed of by the order dated twenty fifth June twenty thirteen. Addition of party. Uh, let such supplementary be affidavit be filed within a period of two weeks from date. Upon service of the copy of uh, within a period of two weeks from date. Upon serving copies of the same to the respective learned advocates. the respondents will be the respondents including the added respondents will be at liberty to file affidavit in opposition within a period one of one week one week from that semicolon reply there to if any be filed within a week thereafter the petitioner is directed to file a compilation consisting of the supplementary affidavit And the affidavits filed in connection there, on or before the next date of hearing. Deeply obliged. Item number 
14 and 15. May I permit to file a report in terms of the order of first position? Two reports. Two reports are there. One by executive union, another by the BLR. What, what is the writ petition for? What is the prayer in the writ petition? No, no, no. What should you do? Can you see? What is this? Report. Uh -huh. Prayer in the repetition, we have to find out. The, their allegation is that uh, damaging the Damodar river bank by extracting sand. Page 12 of the repetition. Random is seeks to take legal action against the private respondent for unlawfully damaging Damodar impact. Now, what is the action taken? Paragraph 5. By the BLRO. By the BLRO. Can you see the report? Affirmed by Prabodh Adda. Paragraph 5. As regards the restricted zone of the said left back and uh, river Damodar, no extraction of sand is was allowed as per the prevailing rules. It is most uh, submitted that report Damodar report that there are numerous rocks falling within the restricted zone along with the embankment uh, of river Damodar of the said two blocks, Golshi 2 and Golshi 1, a separate list showing the detailed plot numbers of the restricted zone of the left embankment of river Damodar was submitted before this court. As per report, there are no extraction done. Within 200 meters along with the side of the embankment, as per report of the BLR of one, there are no extractions zone of 200 meters from the limit. And uh, we have stopped mm. but, uh, extraction of sand within the restricted zone. Have you served the copy upon the other side? This report is Nobody is appearing that soon. We are not finding out. We are not finding. Petitioner is not coming. We have not served. No, one of is not coming. That's a difficult. Who is not coming? Petitioner is not coming. Mr. Udashankar Chattopadda is not coming. No, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. What are you saying? He was served on 26th of June 2022. Already served with the report. And in fact, the order sheet says no report is given. No such important terms of science has been received in the department. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. What we have to do is place this report on record and give liberty to the petitioner to agitate the matter afresh in case this uh, report. In case I did, and then come on. This uh, petition has been filed, praying for a direction upon the respondent 6 and 8 to take legal action against the private respondent and others for the alleged unlawful damage of the Damodar embankment and not to allow the private respondents to extract stand from the restricted zone of Damodar River under Mauza Gram. Uh, the matter has been adjourned from time to time to, and directions were issued to the authorities to file their status, uh, file their report. Accordingly, uh, a report has been filed <coughs> by the <coughs> BLRO. 
one by the builder and one by the executive engineer. by the executive engineer roman 1 damodar canal division date 22nd july 2022 so the report has been served on the learned advocate for and also and another report by the and the land reforms officer golshi roman 2 Okay. L and L R O. All C Roman two. Another, another report will be block and land. Block land and land reform officer. Block okay. land and land reform officer. Okay. Dated July twenty two, twenty twenty two. This is where, where is that report? This is the video. Okay. In the report, ah, now the video. In the in the report submitted by the executive engineer, Tama, it has been stated as follows. Let me read. पैरा नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स ओनली ओनली वन रिपोर्ट सर Okay. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, the paragraph five says uh, the report submitted by the B L and L R O Galsa two. Paragraph five six. Hmm. Eight, seven, and eight. Um. the executive engineer roman 1 damodar canal division has filed a report has uh, filed a report dated 226 2022 along with a schematic diagram of the present status comma gps photograph of the spot comma present status report of the subdivision officer edilpur subdivision 1 purva bardhaman and the other action taken information in the report it has been stated that the land appears to be barren land and the plots are located about 200 meters far away from the river side of damodar left embankment and the main river course is flowing away flowing in about a distance of 1400 meters approximately from the said plots plot plots the the section officer guhagram section edilpur subdivision has intimated the officer in charge galsi police station by communication dated 30th of october 1999 huh? stating that in case of unauthorized sand extraction from the restricted zone comma um action legal, uh, legal action against the mis miscreants has to be taken uh, the the writ petition was filed in the year 2011 2011 and the and uh, the status report filed by the authorities revealed the present status therefore we are of the view that uh, the petitioner should uh, uh, no the, therefore we are of the view that the writ petition can be disposed of by passing the following order the status report submitted by the authorities are kept on are taken on record and the authorities are directed to ensure that no illegal extraction of sand takes place within the restricted zone and they have directed to con keep continuous vigil of the area uh, by conducting surprise inspections etc we give liberty to the petitioner 
to approach the authorities by way of fresh representation in the event the, uh, the the undertaking given by the authorities in their report which we have treated as part of this order is being violated or not followed the red petition stands disposed get to the uh, needless to state that the that uh, the authority should not wait for any third party to bring to their notice about any illegal extraction of sand but as it is the duty of the authorities to protect the water bodies rivers and river courses therefore even if they receive any information uh, uh, therefore uh, the authorities are bound to conduct frequent surprise inspection and in the event any third party give, gives any information action should be initiated based on such information by taking by by following due process of law next next one two connect out of this fifteen item fifteen mala this is the report, report. yes another report we are digging my it's the same now what i need a brick field in the river side brick field in the river side brick field uh, but we have restricted it yeah. on the embankment of the so far as the um, allegation in wpa 19665 of 2013 is concerned it is with regard to a brick field hmm, alleged to have been uh, uh, established in the restricted zone a report has been filed by the block land and land reforms officer shyampur 1 and stop out notice has been issued state stating as uh, uh, report has been filed dated 10th may 2022 uh, stating the following we extract the entire reports hmm full stop the report is placed on record and it should uh, and the authorities are directed authorities more particularly the block land and land reforms officer shampur 1 is directed to enforce the stop work notice and ensure that that no uh, uh, bricklin is uh, no no brickwork is permitted uh, is allowed to be done within the restricted zone the juncture so no operation of the brick field hmm? in the event the authorities do not um, initiate action uh, no sorry in the uh, upon the failure of the on the part of the authorities uh, to keep up to the commitment given in the report comma stringent action will be taken against authorities and they will be made personally liable for such lapses disposed Item 16. Yes, Mr. Lord, I beg to appear on behalf of the petition, Mr. Lord. Yes, uh, Lord. Uh, appear for appear. the police. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I am appearing for some of this. But appear for the pollution control board. This is my that they put. For the private respondent number 10, Mr. Lord. Who is for the red petition? Yes, Mr. Lord. I appear on behalf of the red petition. There was an allegation, Mr. Lord, filling up for Mr. Lord pond illegally, and Mr. Lord pursuant to the grievance, Mr. Lord raised before this court, Mr. Lord, the court was kind enough to direct the authorities to file the. report mm. and the report has come you know if your lordship kindly sees what do they say you know they say yes conversion of the pond has been done but that has the records are not there how it has been done on page 4 of my uh, report yes. one copy may be served on me so that i can also understand what they are doing that is you know report you know if your lordship kindly says page 4 because you know there are certain documents which has been placed by the state respondents is vernacular in nature i am just reading page 4 paragraph d <laughs> that as per the official registers no record of conversion of classification of subject plots was found uh-huh. then we are under section 4d of the west bengal land reforms act we are there has to be an application but uh-huh. that has not been there and who is the person who was converted we are the person we are the private respondents we are i have served my lord private i am not for the private concern my lord 
this land belongs to uh, the private respondent my lord this is a old record of kmc this is a KMC. land no 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 falls under kmc my lord it's old record so no, no. what was the original classification yes original my lord, original classification is vastu my lord no is... how a water body can be reclassified my lord uh... supreme court says it can't be it can't be in fact there are cases where when there is no water flowing into the water body lord, uh... the government says please re you can reclassify those government orders have been struck down saying that they are illegal because these water bodies the, the government or the municipality or the corporation they are all trustees they have to preserve that they are not owners they are trustees so if you are uh, if uh, the assuming that sir some record or uh, conversion or order is there that order is an illegal order the rs record says that it was a private responded rs record that is no, no. 16 now they have put up construction report. you have put up construction Yes. Malad, already I have the uh, plan is uh, sanctioned by the authority. My lad is there. But how Malad. corporation gave planning for? No, but Malad, 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 <coughs> maybe my lord because uh, the corporation record it is since long it is gone. No, you are handing over papers. Then it should be an affidavit. Yes, that's true, my lord. You can't hand over papers across the court and say look into my plan, etc. Uh. You must come with an affidavit. Otherwise, it will be difficult to follow. RS record says, "Lord, it's a pond." Grounds are there. Ground plus one. Yes. 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 Ground plus
once so miler passed the order appropriate authority please tumara lordship can expunge me because i have actually no role to play no no pollution you be no, there no, no. pollution is also involved but you always come late sir you always come late every damage is done then you come sir not <laughs> not not always not always uh in terms of the directions issue dated 22nd march 2022 status report has been filed by the block land and land reforms officer kolkata one copy to be given to us my sir copies of the copies to be circulated be served on the learned advocates for the respondent yes uh क्लासीफिकेशन एक्सिस against certain um kaitan numbers and the remaining kaitans are classified as vastu b a s t the report also states that no record of conversion of classification of the subject plots was found in the office of the uh, block uh, what is it block land and land reforms officer kolkata uh, it is submitted by the learned advocate for the petitioner that um, a multi storied building has been constructed in the said land which is a water body and the land adjoining the water body it is not clear as to how the kolkata municipal corporation had sanctioned the plan hmm, uh, with uh, for putting up construction in the said property therefore to have a clearer picture we direct the appropriate authority of the kolkata municipal corporation right. to conduct an inspection of the area after notice to all concerned in the say, during the said inspection the block land and land reforms officer kolkata should be present and also the private respondent who are alleged to have uh, put up illegal construction on a water body as well as the writ petitioner advance notices be served on the writ petitioner and the private respondent so that they can be present at the time of the inspection the private respondents are at liberty uh, to produce documents in support of their claim uh, to the officer of the kolkata municipal corporation when the inspection is conducted yes, after completion of inspection the uh, uh, the concerned authority of the kolkata municipal corporation is directed to file a comprehensive report with the necessary annexures on the next hearing date How much time? Three weeks is sufficient. Uh, make it because all notice to be sub sub my lord. Make it at least four weeks. At least list in the monthly list of uh, May. As well notice. Careful. Did you? And in May leave my lord. Yes. Item seventeen. Last photo to be finished. Yes, A G in this. But I am appearing as Amicus. Amicus. Yes. You were originally appearing for C B A. Originally, no. I was. Now you are not. Mm -hmm. In one matter today, it was there. The the Nithai matter, item number twelve. Ah, uh, so we have directed the uh, notice to be given to the office of the additional yeah, solicitor. You also please inform. Yes, I will inform. So who is the uh, present counsel? He can appear. Your Lordship, I I'll give the name to your Lordship. Uh. He is the retainer counsel. Now he called Amajit Day. Uh. So, my Lord, in all matters, your Lordship can kindly direct that he, he can direct. print his name. I just just give you please give it. And what happened? Forensic lab. 
this is with this matter has been going on for a long period of time but now recently something has happened actually this issue was raised uh, by justice joymala bakshi in one decision no sorry no your lordship's right my lord it was my lord raised there my lord the uh, then this was taken up suo motu hmm. yes my lord no no after, oh, after, after that, that no very recently no, no. in that uh, parliamentary delegation you remember mr sushil kumar modi the member of parliament along with all of them came in that uh, this point was raised saying that uh, the forensic uh, science laboratory at kolkata um, and jalpaiguri do not have the required infrastructure it was news to them my lord chief's right my lord a report was supposed to be filed ah. my lord by my lord the home secretary yes and my lord uh, justice bakchi the division bench presided over by ja- justice bakchi my lord had summoned my lord the home secretary my lord so my lord some then we assign mm-hmm. mm. what we'll do is we'll assign this matter to the division bench of justice jaimala bhats because he has passed lot of orders and uh, there will be lot continuity Malad, in the matter yes my lord in fact your lordships are right my lord it related to my lord testing my lord for narcotics mm. my lord certain my lord uh, in fact uh, he was expressing not... serious concern so as a result of which those fellows are to be enlarged on bail correct um the division uh let this matter be placed before the Uh, acting chief justice for being assigned to an appropriate bench we will assign it yes ma'am it has to go through so that, the administrative side <laughs> yes it has to go through then matter didi didi one criminal matter is being tagged along with this matter so that was we are informed that is over oh. that point of that has been disposed of yes yeah, uh, disposed of the learned amicus curiae yeah, first line appearing to uh, amicus curiae mr so and so and the learned advocate general for the respondent state dada yes cbi jo apni cbi ending theek hai sir but i have given the name of the cbi standing terms but uh, the criminal matter is shown to be pending which criminal matter was this i was not in the criminal was on hmm um the matter concerns the infrastructure of the forensic science laboratory at kolkata and jalpaiguri we are informed that uh, the division bench headed by honorable justice mr justice joymala bakshi has passed several orders on the same subject in um, while dealing with uh, the criminal uh, determination therefore uh, let the matter be placed before the acting chief justice to be assigned to, to the appropriate division uh, this will be that third so on so ag apply sir next item 18 that i am appearing on behalf of the kolkata metro rail Actually, I'm appearing on behalf of the state, you lot says. Let me just stop and go and get this new advocate. Okay. Who's for the added respondent? Oh, yes. Hey, I'm going to copy that from you again. Copy that? Yes, it is there. Copy the other part of it then. Start. Last date of the three minutes. Direction. but uh, this park is now being used for uh, the book fair was conducted here is it yes yes because this uh, park this is a central park as per the noti- government notification this is a this is the lung of the bidhanagar this is like hyde park and maidan and others and as per master plan of the salt lake 
though the government made a false statement before this court and also Supreme Court, though there is no uh, this working plan, but this is absolutely false submission without knowing the record because Salt Lake was, well, Salt Lake was established about reclaiming land mm. because in view of the uh, influx of the refugee from the West Bengal. And the uh, and the and after that, uh, it initially it was been for the poor middle class, lower middle class people, and that is why the person who planned this, that is from Czechoslovakia, uh, and that man came to India and that, they, they filled up the like, and after that the when the the corporation are elected to make a detailed plan, they have made a plan, and estimate committee's report is also found that they have been paid. And now, well, this this uh, this central park, this has been practically thirty thousand trees has been cut down. Metro rail, because even the report filed by the uh, the the officers assigned by this court to infect and pilot report special officer that there was several illegal construction inside the building, book fair and others. And the mean, I challenge the the. And a poor part of the bus terminal, part of no, the... Oh, sir, sir, book fair also. Yes, they are. That is also required. Hmm? Yeah. In fact, this time the footfall, I read from the newspapers, uh, crores worth of books were sold. And to enter one stall, it, you people had to stand in a queue. Hmm. Because and on behalf of the State Legal Services Authority, we had put up a stall. Yes. Uh, uh, along with the mediation. Yes. So we had a common stall. So I visited that place. So much of people were there. So, yes. Uh, what is it uh, in the sense? If suppose the, as you said, there are no filling of trees, etc., and temporary structures are erected, it's also in public interest that people should read. But if there is another thing to say, they put up construction. Yes, yes, yes. That is wrong. That is <laughs> that is oh, wrong. No. That even, makes... even 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 well, Puna and Puna, even because. Uh, let, let, well, it recently, my Lord Honorable Supreme Court uh, stated the uh, Rajasthan Indira Banerjee that yes, for ceremony or other, you can use the uh, park for for a little time, but it cannot be a regular feature. No, it can't be a permanent. Uh... <laughs> well, that is their number one. Number two, my Lord, this because in in Maidan, there was a book fair earlier that was banned in view of, by by the order of this court. Mm. Now they have shipped, now shifted the book fair to another portion of the, the, the stadium. Thereafter, they shifted this to, to the Salt Lake Stadium. And they have they, they made construction. They have uh, they, they, they changed the nature of this, this, this grass and other. This bed. They have changed that one. And that they are going to play in a permanent book fair community. How that can be? Even for a temple, my Lord, I, I, I completely. You, See, uh, so, so far as metro rail is concerned, that can be. if the train is going to go under the under the ground, not under the ground, on this uh, workshop, workshop, yes, without plan even, without even sanction plan. We have filed our status report as per direction of the honourable court pilot on. I have been added. Another right, thing, well, because today, you know, really all the matters appeared. <laughs> so no no we'll adjourn no problem. I will come to copy them. Copy state copy has been served. No no you're not sure. Copy has been how that can be several order. Well, several order kindly look at several order has been passed. State was a party now they are claiming they are not served. Okay I can I can confirm to me. Okay but today I said I will serve a copy if 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 needed. If needed I will serve copy today. Where is your status report? I have filed on. Kindly see, 1st February 2020. That is of the um, Metro Rail. Yes, yes, on the behalf of the Metro Rail. You got extra paper. So, yes, yes. Then you serve copies? Yes, I have already served. I have not dismissed the... Then I have to uh, make... Okay. I have been added as a party respondent in this. You are... You are... I'm for the Union of India, Lord Chief. I'm for the Union of India. I have received no instructions. I've only been served this copy by the ministry some days back. So, Lord Chief, if they filed any report, I was asked to plead. 
Why this call? Can you see the wallet? Because wallet. Uh, Otherwise, uh, why should I? On twenty ninth March two thousand twenty two. Then you have to serve copies on the. Uh, Look, you have been served with the yes, yes, paper yes, book, yes. Lordship. But uh, if any report has been submitted, let that be. Uh, well, kindly yeah. have a look to the report filed by the special officer engaged by this court. Yes, yes. And that report will expose them totally, thoroughly. No, you you can also file your uh, any objections to this status report. You can file it. We'll ask them to serve a copy. Well, that I'll, but, but I will like, take a two days time maximum because Metro Rail has no locus because Metro Rail has no locus in this case. Because la land... No, what has happened? Metro Rail... Uh, has already filed a... Uh, uh, during the pendency of this repetition, Metro Rail construction, this pendency, my lad, Metro Rail can't escape from the during the pendency of the repetition, Metro Rail constructed entire huge construction. So they cannot and escape. Been done for the public. No, no, which authority is in charge of maintenance of this park? Well, no, this actually, I tell you, there is a one because Salt Lake is a government township. Correct. And municipality is there. So, Bidhan Nagar municipality is there, but Bidhan Nagar municipality, because in, in my another case, my this has been said, the Bidhan Nagar municipality, in Bengal, owner of the land is the government. Government of West Bengal, governor of West Bengal. Municipality is trusty. What my lot of other means the maximum is not the owner of the. No. See, somebody should be in charge of protecting the park, the central park. Hmm? So, which is that authority? <laughs> there is no such authority because Definitely. there is because there is a Bonobitan forest department is there. There is a metro, so there is because this 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 so metro has been granted permission to utilize a portion of the land for construction of this uh, By the depot. Of, yes, depot. Government this uh, without conversion. We, but we, from whom did they obtain permission? That authority we should be heard. Well, authority UD department. The I'm owner not. of the land is the UD department. State, 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 state. Copy paper, not paper. Now, in, 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 in 2012 to the 2013. That's the 29th March 2022. I appearing and again he asked for. I, well, I again, just have copy your lordship. Several <laughs> occasions, lordship, I'm appearing in this matter. Well, okay, to copy not, sir. My lord, I will again. <laughs> Copy this paper book and to serve. The, uh, uh, so let so a copy so. of the status report be served on me. Uh, so heard so and so appearing in, per, uh, in person and also so and so. Let, let I can I short it otherwise because this matter is pending. So that part is got to get, get, get a copy of the status report filed by the uh, Kolkata Metro Rail Corporation Limited. He served on the learned, uh, on the petitioner appearing in person as well as the respondents. Okay. Learned advocates for the respondents. No, no, the petitioner is granted uh, liberty to file objections to the status report huh? uh, within a week. No, List no, the no. matter. After two weeks, you give a date. Yes, you give a date. My lord, this book here actually is a sheet paper one place to one. Now, in the, because, because in my lord, I know because I was a journalist, I know that. That this is book fair is a big business. It's true that in college street and other market people go and get more uh, uh, discount than the book fair. But as one can see many books at a time, that is the that is the only ground people throw them. That now became a craze of that this. is required. Sir. Eh? The required that is definitely book fair. Book fair is a part of the Bengal I, culture for a long I, time. I love for that the there the are there are so many. Uh, Vacant land available here in West Bengal. So for that, why should we encroach upon the park, which according to government itself, long of the Vidhanagar? Then all parks should be used for some other. But there is a huge water body inside. Yes, yeah, because water body. What is the plan, my lord? Because officers are there. You know, for fire work, this, this gentleman who planned the city, he has a vision that because the, all officers are just in, in front of the burn. So there, in, in case of emergency, the water but the water can be used for diffuse the... But the water body is preserved. Water body is there. Water body is how one can, Water body is there. Water body is there. The park is there. No, no, no. Park is park. Only small portion is there. No park is there. Reports say. No, 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 no. 
the report of the mailo kai have the look the report filed by the court officer but then uh, you have to file you are appearing for state government uh, you file a report sir because mailo we have seen since the childhood the salt lake so we know what is park what is water body on what kai part no, this the salt lake was whatever uh, constructed in 1960 61 but uh, they never thought about the metro rail or other thing wow well, no, no, metro rail is one aspect <laughs> But what they are saying is, you are slowly reducing the area of the park. Well, the park is once again the park is under which authority's control? Urban development. Ah, you, the the, uh, con, the appropriate authority of the urban development department is directed to file a status report as to the present state uh, present condition of the park, uh, along with all requisite details. Well, all the records, master file showing this is a park, and no plot number is given. All even the landed advocate general submitted before this court that yes, there is a master plan for Salt Lake and Salt this park park. The working that, plan. That is the working plan. No, no, no. Well, there is a working plan. Government say master plan, and before the Supreme Court, my lord, we the Supreme Court also Supreme Court said yes, even assuming that this is a working plan, but it has to be it is binding. But that is a false submission before the Supreme Court in humanity versus the state of West Bengal, and because in a must, I will place master plan, my lord. I, I brought the master plan with me. That has been sold by pay only for two four rupees, because when the Salt Lake plot was distributed, each and every uh, the the plot owner was given a master plan. Each and every one, and there is a notification, incompatible use and compatible use. So, so this the park is how can that can be a compatible use? It's in, you cannot use that one for any purpose. And there is a notification. But uh, you you are not successful in obtaining any interim order. No, well, I because because the diploma has come out because by that because I because in view of what this, you can do is hmm. you can restrict your prayer, saying that no future development should take. Place. No, well, there is a order bypass justice Kollan that this division may. If if in if that there should be put on on the law, order is there. Subsequently, we will see. You got photographs and everything. Well, you can let at that page in my lord, I will post by order be in. No further instruction should that by the urban level and so on. So along with photographs, sir, you have to give a report of the authority along with photographs. And no further construction should be there. Man, that should be there. That should that is not okay. But a kali give me four weeks time. But a kali give me why four weeks time? Well, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Next. Please call. I think I don't know. Nineteen. Metro. Yeah, Metro. Ki amla to hundred percent share metro. Metro to share. No, my metro is active. No, no, my metro is full hundred percent share owned by the government of India. Earlier it was the West Bengal. Now entire share is being transferred to government of India. The government of India is also a party. None appears for the petitioner. Even when the case was heard on twenty eighth February twenty twenty two. Huh? None appeared for the petitioner. Uh, the writ petition was filed in the year 2012, alleging that that uh, the what is that? Uh, no, not alleging for uh, ensuring that the auto rickshaws hmm, strictly comply with the rules specified in their permits. Uh, since the petitioner has not been appearing, it is presumed that that uh, the cause of action does not any longer survive. Therefore, the petition stands disposed of, giving liberty to the petitioner to approach the authorities by way of fresh representation if a need arises to do so. Next, item number twenty-two twenty-two. Lordship, I am appearing on behalf of the petition, Lordship. But even this is a matter, Lordship. The public interest litigation has been filed in 2012, challenging the notification and order 
passed by the Department of Mass Education Extension and Library Sciences, Government of West Bengal. This is the order which is annexed in page number 35 of the writ petition. So you kindly come to this order once, P2. Now this order is under challenge on the ground that whether the state government has any authority to issue such an order. May I read this order? Whereas the state government, government sponsored, government aided libraries and the state have to spend public money for purchasing newspapers, dailies to the needs of the readers visiting those public libraries across the state. And whereas it is considered necessary and expedient to respond to the needs of the reading habits of the persons visiting to those public libraries. And whereas it has been felt necessary in public interest that no government fund will be spent for purchase of newspaper dailies published and or purported to be published by any political party, either national or regional, as a measure to develop free thinking amongst the readers. And whereas it is felt that newspapers dailies as named in the table below will besides promoting language particularly among the rural masses significantly contribute to the development and the spread of free thinking among the members. Now, therefore, the governor is pleased to direct. No government fund will be spent for the purchase of any newspaper, dailies published and or purported to be published by any political party in any public library in the state. That is first. Number two, the purchase of newspapers, dailies, but the, by, by the public libraries in the state shall be restricted to only newspapers daily shown in the table below. Now they have given a list. Now out of this list, Shongbad Pratidin, Shokal Bela, Khobot 365 Din, Egdin, Doinik Statesman, Sanmarg, Akbari Masjid, Azad Hind. Now these were the newspapers which were placed there. Now according to the petitioner, these newspapers, kindly, my lord, I would place this is a matter of 2012. In 2011, this particular state of West Bengal has seen a political shift from one regime to another political party came to the power after the election in 2011. Now, apart from it, all these newspapers, the editors of these newspapers, later on, four of them became the member of Rajya Sabha. All these newspapers played, contributed significantly for in, in favor of the government while coming to the power. These were the allegations. Apart from that, one editor of this Shongbad Pratidin happened to be the editor of Jago Bangla, which appears to be the uh, political mouthpiece of the ruling dispensation in this state. These were the facts. So our public interest litigation was filed in that pretext that there was the motive of the government to promote those newspapers and by while doing so government has actually violated article 14 of the constitution of india because government cannot restrict the choice of the people by restricting the name of the newspapers because lordship it is essential to understand that newspapers are newspapers but they actually from what little i know all these newspapers from the state where i come they supply free copies to all district libraries Taluk libraries, Gram Panchayat libraries, and the state libraries. Yes. They supply free copies. No. They supply, they, they don't charge. Government doesn't pay them at all. Yes, there is because a provision. It is a prestige for them. Yes. The public should read their news. Yes. It, it is a, uh, it's a provision even under the. All right. Now, have they still, are they still. Uh, they are, they were amended. This power of restriction is still there. The choice, this power should not be there in the hand of the government. But why, AG, you can purchase all papers? My Lord, may I my Lord, say one thing? My Lord, kindly have a look at, my Lord, the orders, my Lord, which had been passed in this matter. Mm. My Lord, there have been a series now, my Lord, starting from, my Lord, 29th July 2021. Mm. My Lord, kindly come straight away, my Lord, to, my Lord, 20th September 2021. So this is one of the first matters I did, my Lord, after assuming <laughs> office. My Lord, yes. Kindly, September. No, uh, uh, 28th September, yes. my lord. Kindly, my lord, see, my lord. 
Now, my lord, after this, my lord, I'll show the two notifications, my lord, of 7 November 2019, mm. and my lord, uh, uh, my lord, uh, the subsequent notification thereafter, 22nd December, my lord, 2021, my lord, uh, by and large, my lord, every newspaper, my lord, has been included. Mm. My lord, what we didn't want, my lord, were government funds being spent, my lord, for political mouthpieces. My lord, we are nowhere saying, that, my lord, these newspapers, my lord, or newspaper owners, my lord, cannot supply free of cost. Mm. Or, my lord, the public library will not permit these to be read. What is meant is, my lord, these are all government funded. Funded, my lord, uh, uh, um, acquisitions, my lord, should not include political mouthpieces. That's all no, that we have, my lord, indicated. No, his he, grievances he is, only. Yes, that is also a restriction, Article 14. Any kind of restrictions. My Lord, I want to ask on now what is the list. Yes, my Lord, kindly have a look, my Lord. To my Lord, the supplementary affidavit, my Lord, filed on behalf of the state. My Lord, kindly take, my Lord, uh, this is my Lord, affirmed on March 2022. My Lord, these libraries, my Lord, have several sources of funding. Mm. My Lord, one of them, my Lord, is government. Now, my Lord, if other sources of funds, my Lord, are used, there is no embargo. Mm. We don't have that can now. No. Not can, my Lord, it's a supplementary affidavit. Lord, Chief, there are three repetitions. There are three possibly repetitions, my Lord. You just, uh, please read out. My Lord, may I, my Lord, indicate, my Lord, the first, my Lord, was of 7th of November. Mm. My Lord, which says, my Lord, after taking into consideration, my Lord, um, uh, my Lord, the four, my Lord, state government, government-sponsored, government-aided libraries have to spend public money for purchase of newspapers to cater to needs. My Lord, we've looked at, my Lord, reading habits. We've looked at language. And, my Lord, we've looked at, my Lord, where, my Lord, um, uh, my Lord, we have said, my Lord, that political mouthpieces, my Lord, should not be, my Lord, sponsored, my Lord, by government money. If they want to come, my lord, any other source of fund is used, mm. my lord, that's my lord, and my lord, we've given my lord the list, my lord, Anandavajar Potrika, mm. the Telegraph, Bortoman, mm. Ajkal, Protidin, Tinsho uh, Ponshotri, Sanmark, Akbari Mashrik, Mashik, and uh, Uttorer uh, Sharadin. Then, my lord, what was added to this was Times of India. Economic Times, Himalaya Darpan, which is in Nepali, uh, uh, Sarsagum, which is Santhali, uh, Santhali, then Doinik Jagran, Dainik Bhaskar, which is in Hindi. We've added all this. 14, totally. Uh, my Lord, it is uh, 9, my Lord, plus my Lord, 4, nine, what is 9 plus 5, 14. 14, correct. 14 newspapers. My uh, Lord, the question is, Lordship, still the power of restriction is there in the hand of state, Lordship. That power is under challenge. Whether state can choose for the public, whether state can choose the name of the newspapers for its public. It is their money. No, no it's, it's, the question is, it's not their money, it's public's money. The state is spending public money for the public. That's the question so, one. According to you, Number two, which are the mouthpieces of political parties? There is no mouthpiece. Now the question is, even that, if that is also taken into consideration, now whether the court can decide what is the mouthpiece of a political party, what is not? That is one question, because this question dropped up in a matter, Lordship. We, we can say, at best we can say, that there should not be any restriction. Yes. Suppose in a particular area, yes. in a district library, the people make a request that this paper can also be purchased. That should be considered. Yes. That should be considered. So, so that, this list need not be restricted to 14. But as and when it is required... It should be leave, left with the library. library the management to be concerned, district library or the state librarian can decide. Yes. And, yes. Yes, my lord. In fact, there is an act. My lord, the public library is act. act yes. My lord, where my lord, the local library authority, my lord, can take a decision. Take a decision. Go, go, my lord, your lord can restrict. provide that whatever there is in this. Suppose you have said about the Nepali yes. uh, newspaper. Hmm. By buying it in a library in Kolkata, yes. it's not going to... No, help. no, correct. Then, my Lord, it's, ah, yes. my Lord, it's meant I, so, my Lord, that's may, correct. May only, uh, may only say that the pretext of these kind of notifications in 2012, was we, I had an occasion to appear for one of the, these political newspapers, so-called political newspapers, which were denied the government advertisements. 
Now, this was challenged by them. And uh, the single bench of this Honorable High Court has struck down that policy decision of the government. The newspaper is a newspaper. newspaper correct. Once uh, they have got a license to uh, publish, then uh, there can't be any discrimination. Government may come up with a reasonable uh, Please come, sir. This, by way of, uh, there are three writ petitions. Yes, three I writ petitions. I declare yes, this as ultra-virus. Item number 20. Item number 20 is my application. Point is there. See, analogous. Please hear it. There are three writ petitions with almost uh, similar, uh, with more or less uh, similar prayers. The grievance of the writ petitioners is that, that the government of West Bengal, by issuing the order dated 14th March 2012, has restricted the purchase of newspapers for uh, state government, sponsor, state government slash government sponsored slash government aided libraries in the state uh, to only eight newspapers. And this restriction is uh, the restriction offends Article 14 of the Constitution of India. The learned advocate appearing for the petitioner placed reliance on the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in the case of Rajneesh Kumar Pandey versus Union of India, Red Petition Civil Number 876 of 2070, dated <clears throat> 28th October 2021. To, in support of the contention that when public funds for public funds are utilized for the purchase of these newspapers, there cannot be any restriction. Uh, the, the therefore it is submitted that the there can be the, the list of newspapers cannot be restricted to the eight newspapers alone by the state government. The learned advocate general appearing for the respondent state submitted that the the uh, eight newspapers which were directed to be purchased by notification dated 14th March 2012 are no longer being purchased and a fresh notification has been issued dated. Melada, there is Melada, November 2019. In November 2019. Melod, uh, 7 November 2019. 7th November. And Melod, 22nd December 2021. With a corrigendum of 8th February 2022. Ah, 22nd December 2021 along with a corrigendum. By which? 8th four, February 2020. By which the government have decided to purchase 14 newspapers in uh, uh, 8. Ah, corrigendum dated 8th February. 2022. Uh, 8th February 2022. Government have decided to purchase 14 newspapers in different languages. In our considered view, come on, the decision to purchase a particular newspaper uh, should be best left to the decision of the, the library. library authorities. It is the library authorities who are, so it's under the management rules. It's there. Uh, under, under who are West Bengal Public Library Management Rules. Who are discharging their duties under the provisions of the Public Libraries Act and the West Bengal Library Management Rules. It's 1981. 1981. Who are the best persons to decide as to which of the newspapers are to be public are to be uh, are to be purchased for. Uh, a particular library in a particular area. Uh, the um, uh, we we find we find from the list of fourteen newspapers, uh, new, newspapers newspaper in, in Nepali language is also being recommended for purchase. This is so because this is uh, for the purpose of catering to the Nepali speaking. Uh, the, that when catering to the public who speak Nepali language. Therefore, instead of passing a centralized order, come on, the decision should be left to the concerned libraries. library authorities. Not to, instead of library, libraries, concerned library. Libraries will be, he can't uh, manage the funds. Because they have the management. Uh, they library get authorities the aid. Uh, who, are, who are competent to do so under the Lib West Bengal library management rules 
1981. Well, it's no longer 1981. Ah. Well, it's 2005. 1981 has been 2005. Hmm? 2000. Well, both places. Ah, that's in in the light of the subsequent uh, notification having been issued by the state government. Lordship, so far the political newspaper is concerned. Lordship should indicate <laughs> the uh, no, that is also virus dated 14th March 2012. Uh, has worked itself out and therefore the same stands set aside. Uh, it is also made clear that, that uh, no, no, what do you want? Political discrimination on the ground of the political, uh, uh, on the political identity of the newspaper it should not be discriminated. But uh, th there is nothing, uh, no allegation in this 14. But the, in that notification, it is there. They said that it is they want Government to funds issue. will not be used, my lord, for political This policy funds. decision is challenged. That lordship, they cannot discriminate on the basis of a political identity Further, of a newspaper. The uh, notification uh, also states that um, the oh no no the newspapers slash dailies published and or purported to be published by any political party uh, uh, should not be purchased. Uh, the said classification is Unreasonable. incorrect and impermissible since as soon as permission is granted by the appropriate comp by the competent authority for a newspaper, come on. The same cannot be uh, uh, d distinguished as a newspaper published by a political party or purported to be uh, published by a political party. And this classification uh, uh, is, uh, is incorrect and therefore the government should not adopt such a classification. The above direction. Only, only one, one, one indulgence lordship. One indulgence lordship. The yes, libraries they spend the money which they get as a grant in aid. So far, the libraries managements are concerned. If they want to spend their own money for purchasing of any other newspaper, they cannot be also restricted. You come forward with a separate representation, then lordship. come to us. You'll get full. Next. All three matters disposed of. Next, next. My lord, all three, my lord, are disposed of by this. Item 23. 23, my lord, I am for the respondent number 8, my lord. It says file in department. Huh. Huh. My lord, in this matter, my lord, the point is that the petition are challenging the conversion order hmm. lord, uh, of a land which was when it purchased by me, Malad, and I subsequently I applied for conversion. I made a compensatory water body, and subsequently it has been converted from Doba to Vastu. Now, Malad, he is challenging this conversion order in this particular repetition. Now, Malad, according to the Malad, West Bengal Land Reforms and Tenancy Tribunal Act, Malad, this is not maintainable. We have to challenge it before the tribunal under Section 6 of the Act. But who appears for the repetition? Well, I get to appear on behalf of the state government. Malad, in this matter, Malad, the matter is pending since a very long time, and Malad, I am not oh. able to utilize Malad, my commercial land. This is my report. Like to kindly consider Section 6 of the Act. What is that notified? Uh, specified Act. It's a specified Act. Uh, have you served a copy of this on the petitioners or today? I think last occasion was Amitava Pain. He appeared. We will keep it after some time. You please serve the copy of this. You have got a copy of this? Yes, report. All right. uh, the uh, report uh, has been filed by the Block Land and Land Reforms Officer dated 24th June 2022. Let a copy of this report be served on the Land and Advocate for the petition. This is the matter. Can you make it in the month of April? Because lots of people appreciate it. The report, report we kept to the record. Yes. Next. I don't know. Twenty-four. Well, I'm 
appearing, but file is not here. What is it? Item 25, no? File is here? 24, my lord. 24. 24. Okay. Farmer suicide, my lord. Uh. Omitted suicide farmer 90. Due to 9 key. My lord. There are this year. My lord, Mr. Sandri Alum is appearing in this matter for Union of India, my lord. She is engaged in another court, my lord. Kindly. Who's for the petitioner? You are for the. Um, but 2012 it was filed. At 2012 few it was filed. Few farmers committed suicide. Then this year also, my lord, the price of the. This is my ABD video service, my lord. I filed an application for appropriate order. Oh. If your lordship kindly. You want compensation to be paid or what? Not only that, that point of your lordship kindly come to my application. PR, initial PR was page 3 of your lordship's brief. PR A, a writ in the nature of mandamus, the government of India to appoint a commission like Saminathan Commission to find out the basic cause of sudden spout of pharma suicides in West Bengal and suggest proper ways and means to check such conditions and pay proper compensation. Commanding next B, commanding the respondent authorities to disclose adequate mandatory, mandatory compensation to the legal heirs of those distressed farmers who committed suicide in the recent past due to not getting proper price of agricultural produce. Then C, commanding the respondent number one to formulate a scheme to provide fertilizers, seeds, and others at the subsidized rate. D. All right. Then no. this year, Kylie Malat, mm. this year, what is the rate of the price which have stated potato and onion, Sir, which what? have stated. Sir, you want a commission to be appointed to probe what was the reason. Probably inadequate price, etc. Et Second is compensation. What happened to the compensation? Malat, 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 Kylie, hey, Malat, Malat, Justice Chellur bench that there is a direction to formulate uh, a commission. You also kindly, they, they are not yet been, it has been. Order date. Malat, that is. Pardon me, Malat. Pardon me, Malad. Order was in my brief, but don't worry. Petition like copy, yes. Oh, obviously. Yes. Order dated. Another thing is this. Wait, wait, wait. The seventeenth July, twenty fifteen. But there is a part of kindly pardon me, Malad. Where is that order? This is mm -hmm. ah. Yes. We direct the Food and Supplies De Department Government of West Bengal to form a committee to make a detailed study into the matter and evolve a plausible solution or alternate solution to the problem occurring very frequently in the state. It is left to the department to select the members of the committee who will have sufficient experience, etc., etc. About to the department to look in the matter and submit a report by the end of September 15. Now, I am in the new appointee in this matter, my lord. But I have the app, copy of the application, not in the read petition, my lord. My lord, uh, today, my lord, the situation is that, my lord, we relate back to the, my lord, in 2012. The difficulty is, my lord, the who has, my lord, diet, my lord, the farmers were diet, my lord, and there is a, there should be a correlation between the, my lord, the, the price index and, my lord, the, that data in the, of the farmers, my lord. So, my lord, uh, this committee, I don't know, my lord, uh, probably this committee has been... Lord, 
Malo, another thing, your Lordship, kindly come to my application, page six. Page six, paragraph three of your Lordship's brief. The following are the expenditure to grow potatoes in vigas of land, produce around 400 to 500 kgs of potatoes. Your Lordship got it, my Lord. My application, application that is can two of 2023. Mm, yes. What is my Yes. Page six. Yes. Paragraph three. The following are the expenditure to potatoes in Viga of land, which produce around 400 to 500 kgs of potatoes roughly. Tractor higher price rupees 2000 per one Viga of land. B. Three Vigas of potato seeds are required to, that is, Viga land, which price rupees 2500 per bag, making the total of rupees 7500. Around two and a half bigas of fertilizer required for one bigger blend, price rupees 2200, making the total 500, 5500. Fertilizer being urea is required, one bigger urea for one bigger blend, price rupees 330. Pesticides of rupees 2000 is required for one bigger blend. Irrigation cost are around 1500. Labor cost around 6075. 6, Total cost for production of potato for one big up land is therefore rupees 24905. May I, may I submit? My, my lord. Then, then onion. Your lordship kindly come to pay paragraph four. Expect paragraph four. Okay, this relief you wanted that minimum support price. Minimum support price. The division been said at that juncture that cannot be done. It directed a committee to be constituted, a report to be filed. Till date, report has not been no filed. Way. He does not have the papers. You give him one set of papers, we'll adjourn the matter. Let that report be placed before yes, the yes, court. Yes. My Lord. And be that as it may, my Lord, one thing is this. This year, one kg of potato, three, uh, one minute, my Lord. Potato, no, three rupees, 3.25 rupees. And onion, 5.25. Or 5 rupees, no, 25 paisa. You don't have the copy of the application. No. no. I have the copy of the application, my lord. But not, not the written. And my lord, no. my supplementary every day, and not petition, I have stated entirely those who are committed suicide, names also I have given. Yes, yes, we saw. Names that. also I have given. Page three. About Page three. Three, four, five. Supplementary every day, and main petition, name, address, which I have given. Till date. From Always. 2012 to Marad, 2013, if, Marad, so 23, they have not yeah. filed any uh, report. Marad, if my Lord, my learned friends have me a copy of the repetition and the supplementary affidavit, I will inquire my Lord, and my Lord, the what steps has been taken, my Lord, uh, and my Lord, what inquiries are made, made my Lord, and I will come yeah, before so and so. Please, sir. by order dated 17 July 2015, the division bench directed the Food and Supplies Department, Government of West Bengal, to form a committee to make a detailed study into the matter with regard to fixation of the minimum support price for potatoes and onions. And a report was directed to be submitted uh, by the end of September 2015. Till date, no report has been submitted by the concerned department. The learned government council appearing for the respondent submits that he is not he does not have the copy of the red petition. Notification is there. Report is there. Sir, so report is available here. And I, you are, you are also not told us that report. I have, I have not served with the copy of the report. They have, perhaps central government filed a report. Right. You lost the Chinese Union of India. You have heard so and so. But the Union of India filed a report. Hmm. Um, we have heard so and so. Um, uh, pursuant to the directions issued in the order dated so and so, huh? the uh, government has constituted a committee consisting of uh, chairman and uh, the four members and a member secretary by notification dated 7th September 2015.
a report has also been submitted. The petitioner has filed CAN 2 of 2023, bringing certain facts and figures on record. Let the said committee or its successor com uh, or their successors consider the government made in the uh, made in the affidavit file, supplementary affidavit filed in support of the of CAN 2 of 2023 and a fresh report be submitted. You serve him a copy of man, the, man. the learned man, advocate man. for the petitioner. Deep job, sir. Shall serve man, a copy, of, copy of the report petition on the learned government council. May I may I may I serve another may I in case the members of the committee which was constituted earlier are no longer in office, the government shall reconstitute the committee. Marada, may I inspect the report and record Marada, and I will Marada, also Marada, I have not they have not started with the copy report. So I will inspect it. Marada, deep love, doesn't May. Ah, please. Since it has been submitted by the learned advocate for the petitioner that the copy of the report uh, as well as the constitution of the committee was not circulated to them, the office is, the office is directed to circulate copies of the said report to the respective learned advocates for the parties by tomorrow. I'll get it. I'm grateful, Dr. Sheep, your pleasure. Grateful. Item this is also for a Mr. Advocate General. This also relates to that forensic laboratory, this matter. Oh. So this can be yes, yes, along, with hmm? uh, along with item 17. Same order as item 17. One more matter you call. No, item 26, my lord, not called, but I'm paying one adjournment. Item Let 20. it remain in the list. Yes, in the next week, my lord. So we will not, we will stop with 25. Well, the it, yeah. Item 27, my lord, there is a very short matter. There was a direction, the state will file a report. Ah. In, uh, my lord, what, what see, happened, 27? My lord, this matter, my lord, this honorable court was not pleased with the functioning of the state authorities. So CBI was directed to cause an inspection hmm. with regard to, my lord, some murders in a home, a shelter home. Lord, initially, the public interest litigation was filed. On the pretest of no, my lord, it is my application. This is one short direction, nothing else remains. Only my lord, for the protection, if the uh, guideline can be framed, and my lord, some compensation. We will not pass, let it my remain lord. in the list. My lord. Okay. We will stop with 25 my today, my lord. My lord. as your lordship pleases. We are grateful, my lord. Hmm? Department will direct you to supply copy. Okay, 25 years. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay,
और यहां से लिस्टेड मैडम न्यू एप्लीकेशन आईटी नंबर वन वन मिनिट लेफ्ट रेस्पॉन्डेंट एस पिंग सर थ्री पी एम टेपुर जी से मॉर्निंग टी यू इट इज मंडे एंड फ्राइडे टू पी एम So, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, full new upload site. Revenue matters also you have to do. थ्री डेज Hmm. You decide and tell. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. So. Uh, so. ओके यू प्लान इट एंड शो इट शो इट टू फर्स्ट क्लास शिप एंड देन एंड अंजन दिस ब्लू कलर पेन नो ब्लू इज नॉट हियर ओनली ब्लैक यस मे आई सेव इट अगेन Sir, the service is not complete. May I have it again? But who appeared for the any advocate or something? No. No chartered account. Yes. I list the matter after service of notice on the respondent. Much grateful, my lord. I don't know what to. But I am appearing for the applicant. I am appearing for the respondent. There is a delay of twelve hundred twenty-two days. And there is a delay of one thousand two hundred twenty-two days in filing the application. Swati budget. Not Swati budget, my lord. There are other points also, my lord. Here, one hundred fifteen JB is there, my lord. And one point is, my lord. Uh, Allowing the capital loss of uh, rupees such and such, Milord. If you will, I will kindly come to page six, Milord. The 
questions are not a is not regarding a lot long long term capital loss of such and such lot and there 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 are lot 115 jb is also there 14 a is covered lot 14 a rule 80 is covered but but lot regarding a question number d lot that that the that regarding the calculation of capital gain on a sale of a land as a long term capital gain or instead of short term capital gain because uh, when they are specifically SSE has uh, has uh, claimed depreciation on such uh, thing but uh, the tribunal has not categorically not uh, yes. 1,200 days 1,222 days we have heard Mr. Doria. you can come this side sir don't want to uh, we have heard uh, Mr. Prithu Doria and uh, <clears throat> Senior Standing Council for the Upper Land and Mr. So and so Leonard Advocate appearing for the respondent as a seat. There is a delay of 1,222 days in filing the appeal. The order passed by the tribunal, comma, impugned in this appeal is dated 10th May 2019, comma, certified copy of which was received by the department on 12th June 2019. The appeal. <coughs> Ought to have been filed not later than 8th October 2019, but was filed only on 13th February 2023. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the condoned delay application, and we find that the only reason given is by stating that on account of the uh, COVID 19 pandemic, steps could not be taken to file the appeal within the period of limitation. The period of limitation for filing the appeal expired much before the lockdown was declared. And therefore, the department cannot take advantage of the orders passed by the Honorable Supreme Court and contend that the appeal, hmm, uh, the content that the delay in filing the appeal should be condoned. Thus, we are not persuaded to exercise any discretion in favor of the appeal accordingly. Application is dismissed. Consequently, the appeal stands rejected. The substantial question of law, maybe substantial questions of law suggested are left open. Are you number three? I appear for the respondent. So the respondent of this. Not 155. 155. Any. Covered issue, no cover. No, no, no. I admit it. The transfer pricing. Yes, Milad. We will consider. We have heard Mr. Omnar and Rai, Leonard Destiny standing council, along with Mr. Soman Patacha standing council for the Apple and Department, and Mr. Kejriwal, Leonard Advocate, appearing for the respondent SSC. There is a delay of 155 days in filing the appeal. We have perused the affidavit filed in support of the petition and we find that sufficient cause has been shown for not preferring the appeal within the period of limitation. Hence, application is allowed and the de delay is condoned. The uh, appeal is admitted on the following substantial questions of law. Page number four of the stay application, A and B. Then the usual order, in form of paper books, etc. Great. Application Arjun item number four. May it please your lordship, Lord, I'm appearing for respondent number five in the matter. Well, I'm appearing for the red petition, yes. but this is the matter where my Lord, the waiver certificate was directed to be issued, and when it was issued, it partial we got the benefit, and for part of the period, I did not get any certificate from the custom authorities, and we paid certain amount, my Lord, as directed by lordship, my Lord, and thereafter goods were released, my Lord. Now, my lord, the, 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 there were two aspects of the matter. Hmm. One was what happened to your writ petition? Lord, in, 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 the, my, my, in my writ petition, my lord, no order was passed. We preferred an appeal in the in appeal court, my lord, for please to direct oh, the affidavit. So passed an in interim order, yes, my lord. And my lord, it was pleasure of your lordship that the issue will be decided by your lordship, my lord. In so the we'll await the decision yes, of lord, Supreme Court. Lord, what very... is this? Well, I certainly we will await. There is one more part that is was issue of the warfare certificate for rest of the period. Now that custom can issue to me because they release, they pass the order of clearance 
only after when we paid the duty and the out of charge was given and the dispute which they raised was about only 1.25 lakh and 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 50 lakh damages has happened for that account goods were withheld for other reason not for the reason of any valuation dispute valuation dispute was raised and the order was given after we filed writ and uh, out of charge was given it was withheld but even so much so that uh, destuffing permission was not given after the goods landed in february 2022 march but one container cost about 5 4 lakh 80000 rupees for which we give a bond every month 4 lakh is the damage 5 lakh every month 5 month 25 lakh 6 10, 8 month 40 lakh this, I, and this is what uh, like this one custom authorities when we held these goods they said that uh, we want to examine the certificate of uh, origin we said all right examine it after they examined it, withheld these goods for the period of four, five months, they released it. And at the time of releasing, they say that a certain valuation dispute is there and uh, we are loading this at 1.25 lakh and, uh, uh, and, and we paid. After we paid also, out of charge was not given. And, and, and when we filed it, then out of charge, was, certificate was given only for a partial period only. That that certificate is so, my lord. That, what other interim direction you would require? No? But that let them issue certificate itself, custom authority from the date of clearance till the date of clearance. We have, uh, we have partially taken... allowed the same that is appearing at page 68. Now he is claiming for the entire thing. So let them issue the period now. Uh, matter can be decided later. Let him issue the certificate. Now, on what date the goods were detained? My goods were detained in 2nd of June 2022. Yes, waiver is granted from 2nd June. My, my Lord has granted waiver to us till 29 September 22. Yes. That they issued the certificate to us. Yes. Now September. you want? I want till the date of clearance. Okay. What happens is this, after September 22, they did not release these goods for out of charge in spite of the payment <laughs> made by me. They right. gave me out of charge only after we moved writ at the first instance. Then they did it. We said that. What What was the date on which out of charge was given? Well, out of charge was given uh, in uh, 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 in in well, the December twenty two minute sometime in tenth of December or in twenty two. And they have filed affidavit in opposition, my lord, custom authorities. Mm -hmm. And 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 what they say in the affidavit in opposition, my lord, because uh, the, now the provisions are this that, but the uh, affidavit filed by the custom authorities, uh, my lord, can you see page three? Yes. Paragraph four. Paragraph four, Miller B. That this is the affidavit in opposition by the custom authority. SIB alert was issued receiving complaint from such and such on the ground that some importers imported nylon fishnet from China, switch PL and fake CEO, etc. etc. And this was on the ground on which they say we have a information and which is it this was not found in my case and 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 thereafter my lord we kindly see this that that they say we release these goods a h f paragraph f we release these goods on 29 september 22 what what they say is you did not pay the differential duty my lord, different difference after they assessed on 29th of september 22 my lord under, I, mean, I have some, I have, they have not, they are to, nowadays, uh, the system is like this, my lord. They are required, my lord, my lord can you see my reply, my lord, at, uh, 
uh, reply to the customs at page 16. So where is the interim order passed by us in this appeal? Order. Lordship's Interim order of order. 2nd January 2023, Milad. I have it in a rough papers. Milad. Interim order of 2nd of January 2023. So you have complied with this direction? Yes, my lord. And the goods have been released? Yes, my lord. No, it, it, uh, no, why do you insist upon an interim direction for the remaining? Is it because of this, when they, first they issued me this letter of exemption till 29 September 22, my lord. My lord, may I interject? Just, I mean, may I interject? No, 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 my lord, please, on please, the last please, occasion please, when your lordship admitted the appeal, and passed interim direction, Malar, it was adjourned on the ground yeah. that the Supreme Court matter is pending. Yeah, yes, yes, I'm Malar, not asking. In the meantime, affidavit directions were passed. I'm not on that now. But what I am on this, does not trouble him at all in this matter. Because Malar, uh, on September 22, when they assess it, Malar, under the new system, they are to issue custom compliance verification certificate, they are to post it. They did not post it. So, number two, uh, this shipping line were not honoring this and when the shipping line was not honoring this 40 lakh was the damage charges by that time which has offered now as against this goods worth much less they demand 40 lakh customs not taking any step sitting on the fence even when we said this that they are not honoring the certificate you take steps in the matter they sit totally silent since September 22, not taking any step. But 40 lakh at that time for a goods which is not that for the container and one was something. But more. then uh, uh, let them issue my certificate till clearance. Thereafter, we will do now. I have paid. I have taken these goods without prejudice to, on your lordship's direction. Let him issue the certificate till clearance. Thereafter, no, what is the use of that certificate? It's no use. Waiver, I won't get waiver. Yeah, your lordship has protected. As, as your lordship, my, my, you my lord. hear the matter. Let me, my lord, we my will lord. have it in the monthly list of May. My lord. By then, probably if in the Supreme Court. Mala July. Mala yes, May, my lord, not... that is uh, my lord, all it certainly. But my lord, July. this matter, my lord, requires interference at but, this uh, stage. Know, other courts also matters are pending. Batch of cases are pending. We were contesting. So they have shown this order. So then somebody has raised objection saying that this order has been stayed by Supreme Court. So the court should not look into it. So matters are just like yes, this. yes. That much will I but, know. But 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 one another point is this that this is a matter which requires to be dealt with by this honorable court, having not been dealt with by customs in spite of several letters. Matters really go out of hand within a month or so. If I withhold a container, two containers for a month, damage charge is fifteen lakh. I write to them, you give me certificate, they won't certificate. They take another 20 days, 20 lakh, my lord. Now, when this 20 lakh happen, they, they will issue me de-stuffing letter without anything with this. Can, nothing what, can what, be such a spinning machine. You know? They have issued a certificate, but now in court, they are supporting the liner. They, they, support, they always support but the liner. Not in this matter, in the but, previous matter. Or, same shipping company, my lord. Company I... same. Well, five lakh container paying forty lakh rupees in six month time. One can't think of. May I very humbly submit, Milad. 
and i am appearing for respondent number 5 in the matter mm-hmm. milord the order i have gone through milord the points which we are raising before your lordships milord in the matter milord are not the points which have been milord dealt with in that matter because it was not raised milord here we are going by the very basics whether we fall within the definition of milord regulation 6 of the mm-hmm. 2009 regulations or regulation 10 of the 2018 regulations because uh, our case that has not, been dealt and with. i will no milord in that my very humble opinion because please, please, those submissions please, were not please, made please, and the no. relevant Sir, judge also not have not been so and so since the legal issue which is involved in the matter is now pending before the honorable supreme court uh, in an appeal arising out of an order passed by this court and the, and the honorable supreme court has also granted an order of stay of the said judgment therefore the uh, um, let the matter go out of the list uh, giving liberty to the learned advocates on either by either side to mention for inclusion in the list after the disposal of lot especially grateful but <clears throat> maybe file the compilations may not we are not today there's no okay. there's no place <laughs> very deeply obliged milads you will give one opportunity so <laughs> for admission matter id number 5 <clears throat> So I've been repeatedly praying my praying for having this matter. But can we have it next month? By that, the repetition should be not okay. Done. It's still not done. No, but it's uh, it's still lying with me. You know, that's why I'm not. I have taken it upon myself to make this prayer. If you make me. a request, they'll, they'll place it before me. I no, but I I need to. But uh, first, let it go. But it's still, it's still okay. at the request of the learned uh, senior advocate appearing for the appellant, list the matter in the monthly list of June. I'm ready. Next. Item number six. My lord, uh, I I would be grateful if uh, my lord could not take this up today. But why? My lord, someone is ready. My lord, in this matter, my lord, my lord, I yes. have my lord transfer by the matter, my lord. My lord, my, lord, my best in the matter, my lord. I need not, my lord, take the instruction, my lord. I have several times asked them to provide instruction because, my lord, the lord should kindly see the tribunal order, my lord. They are followed the earlier order of the tribunal hmm. in case of the SSC, my lord. My lord, I have tried, my lord, level with, my lord, till it, my lord. I did not get the instruction because that But is there the, is no appeal against those orders. Lord, so, that, that is, that is, my lord. I sought the instruction, my lord, whether the appeal has been filed or if they have not given instruction, that means there is no appeal. My lord, my lord, they should respond, my lord, to the query of the learned advocate, my lord. But, My lord, there is an uh, the appeal was filed, my lord, uh, for seven, eight, and eight, nine. Oh. Uh, these issues were, uh, uh, I some of these questions were taken up by the tribunal for those years, but they were not challenged before this court. So it wasn't a subject matter of that appeal for those years. Uh, thereafter, my lord, that appeal was disposed of. Hmm. So, I, my lord, I have the necessary. What about ten, eleven, eleven, twelve? My lord, for ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, again, uh, these matters came before the high court. uh but uh, these matters came before the high court but they were admitted but then uh, the matter was disposed of on account of low tax effect my lord i'm handing over the stay petition which was filed in uh, for 78 and 89 the hmm. copies the orders i'm handing over about of this honorable court my lord the question of law is at page number 10 of that stay petition my lord will see that the uh, the the question that was raised in this appeal does not have anything to do with the issues that have been raised for uh, assessment year 12 13 although in the before the itat some of these issues were raised this is depreciation on goodwill 
Yes, my lord. Uh, that is not an issue here. That is no, not an issue not here. Issue. But the tribunal decided all these issues in those years. My lord, not all of these issues were uh, decided in those years. Uh, my lord, the so my lord, if I can go question wise, hmm. uh, in so my lord will find the questions at uh, paragraph ten at pages yes, seven and eight. Page of seven. The, yes, my lord. So questions one and four, hmm. they are on the same issue. This was uh, decided in seven, eight, and eight, nine. So this has been followed for twelve, thirteen as well. My Lord, then question three, question number two and question number five. This is again on the same issue. This was also uh, subject matter in uh, seven, eight and eight, nine before the tribunal, not raised before the, before this honorable court. Mm -hmm. And then my Lord, question number three and question number six is on the same subject matter that has been decided on the basis of the ITATS order for 10, 11, 10, 11 and uh, 11, 12. Thereafter, my Lord, uh, for assess for the seventh question, which is on a separate issue, that again has the 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 learned uh, the learned uh, tribunal has gone by 10 11 and 11 so 10 11 11 12 appeal was dismissed on the ground of low tax yes my lord so therefore we may have to consider question 3 6 and 7 yes my lord 1 and 1 and 4 2 and 5 is covered by the previous yes my lord what is three? My Lord, Income question number three, three is on obsolence of, of inventory. In this case, in this, in with regard to this question, my Lord. Uh, Where is the finding? Yes, my Lord. Oh, finding will not be there. Because oh, no. 10, 11, they would have followed. My Lord, uh, will find the, the, the finding of the tribunal, my Lord, is at page uh, 31 of the state petition. Yes. Internal page six of the tribunal's order. Hmm. My Lord will uh, come to the second paragraph below the working which has been given. If I may read out that particular paragraph. Yes. We find that from the said workings, the assessee had clearly mentioned the item code, description of item available in the inventories, date of last transaction, quantity rate per unit and the value together with the time periods from the date of sale to decide the relevant provision percentage. Hence, it could be safely concluded that the assessee had made a scientific calculation for making provisions based on commercially acceptable method. We find that the valuation of the stocks in accordance with accounting standards 2 issued by the ICAI is one of the standards recognized under section 145.2 of the Act, wherein the closing stock is to be valued at lower of cost or net realizable value. Thereafter, we find that this issue is directly covered in favor of the assessee by the decision of the Honorable Delhi High Court in the case of CIT versus Hotline Teletube and Components Limited reported in 2008-175 Taxman 286 Delhi. The facts before the Honorable Delhi High Court and the decision thereon are uh, thereon are as under. Thereafter, my lord, on the basis of this decision, this is actually extracted from the tribunal's decision for 10, 11, 11, 12. On the basis of this decision for those years, tribunal and Hayden held in the favor of the SSC and thereafter they have uh, held the same for 12, 13 also. So the actual decision is at uh, page uh, is at uh, paragraph ten of the next page, where the tribunal says that in view of the above, we direct the TPOA accordingly. According uh, ground number seven raised by the SSE are allowed. Now this can't be a question of law. But did this will not appear in page fourteen of the will not assistant order? Provision of, but here is this will not <clears throat> last the provision of but it is seen from the audited account that the SSE company has debited an amount of provision such and such a provision of dissolvents or inventory in the profit loss account. It is well established law that any provision being an being not ascertained liability should not be allowed in computation of income. Therefore, they have a claim of provision of of loan scheme inventory amounting of the certain such is disallowed. Now the honorable DRP has rejected the assessment contention against the above disallowance. Donald DRP has also directed that it should be verified whether the correct disallowance should be rupees 10 lakhs and such and such as claimed by the SEC in submission before the AO. 
since the details were not maintained by the SEC, the then what? Where is <coughs> this? Is question number uh, three and six correct? Yes, my lord. Three and six. Uh, where is question number seven? Finding of the tribunal. My, what is question seven? My lord, uh, question number provision for warrant. Provision for, for warranty, my lord. My lord, the relevant paragraph is at page seven from paragraph eleven onwards, and the uh, and the exact uh, exact finding of the tribunal, which is important, my lord, is at page nine, right at the bottom, the underlined portion. That may be uh, important because that again is taken from 10, 11 and 11, 12 and thereafter tribunal has held accordingly for this year as well. But here, the tribunal held that the warranty clause is inbuilt in the guarantee clause. Sir, come. This appeal filed by the revenue under Section 260, Capital A of the Income Tax Act 1961, within bracket the Act is directed against the order dated 17th October 2018, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal C Bench Kolkata in ITA number 524 slash slash 2017 for the assessment year 2012-30. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page number seven and eight, totally seven questions. We have heard so the so the the above substantial questions of law can be grouped into four categories. Substantial question of law number one and four are on the same issue. Comma two and five are on the same issue. Three and six are on the same issue, and seven is an individual question. So far as substantial questions of law number one and four are concerned. It is a recurrent issue, and in the assessee's own case, for the assessment years 2007 8, 8 9, and 1213, the tribunal has held in favor of the assessee, and those orders have become final. In the impugned order, the tribunal has followed those decisions, and before us, the revenue has not been able to point out any distinguishing feature for us to take a departure from the consistent manner in which relief was granted uh, in favor of the SSC. Therefore, substantial questions of law number one and four, having been answered in favor of the SSC in the earlier assessment years, comma, the same does not, uh, same has, is required to be answered in favor of the SSC and against the revenue. 
similar is uh, similarly the co substantial questions of questions of law 2 and 5 have been answered in favor of the ssc in for the assessment years 2007 8 and 2008 9 and those orders have attained finality and following the said orders the tribunal has granted relief uh, uh, to the ssc in the impugned order thus uh, so in the absence of any distinguishing feature pointed out by the uh, revenue before us come on the order impugned passed by the tribunal on those issues does not call for interference with regard to substantial question of law number three and six are concerned um, it it uh, deals with the provision on obsolence o b s o l e s c e n c e of inventory inverted comma the tribunal has um, examined the factual facts of the case and found that and found from the workings that the assc has clearly mentioned the item code comma description of item available in the inventories comma date of that last transaction comma quantity comma rate per unit and value together with time periods from the date of sale to decide the relevant provision provision percentage therefore the tribunal concluded that the assc has made a scientific calculation for making provision based on commercial commercially acceptable methods and the tribunal also found that the valuation of the stocks to be in accordance with the as2 capital a capital s2 issued by the icai in uh, being one of the standards recognized under section 145 within bracket 2 of the act comma wherein the closing stock is to be valued at lower of cost or net realizable value the tribunal also took note of the decision of the honorable delhi high court in the case of cit versus hotline Delhi Tube Components Limited, 2008-175 Taxman, 286 within bracket Delhi, wherein the tribunal, wherein the court took note of more or less identical factual circumstances and dismissed the appeal filed by the revenue on the ground that that no substantial question of law uh, uh, arises for consideration as the tribunal has returned its uh, the finding uh, of fact. Um, in our in our view, the tribunal having examined the factual position and rendered a decision, comma, we are of the view that no substantial question of law arises for consideration in so far as the questions suggested, so far as the questions. Three and six as suggested by the revenue, and accordingly the same are rejected. This leaves us. This leaves us with a substantial question of law number seven, uh, which is provision for warranty. Uh, the the department come up before the tribunal ob objected to the allowability of provision for warranty um, on the ground that that. The clause <clears throat> that that in the in the agreement, hmm, the clause only mentions about guarantee, and there is no clause for warranty in the terms and conditions. The tribunal has examined the relevant clause in the in the terms and conditions, more particularly condition number eleven, sorry, condition number nineteen within bracket small a and within bracket small b, and found that that. Uh, that uh, uh, that the warranty clause is inbuilt in the guarantee clause itself, as the SSC in the event of any defective supply within a period of five and a half years has to replace the meters, and in the event of the meters not getting replaced, the SSC has to pay twice the cost of meters. Therefore, the tribunal on facts concluded that the SSC had agreed both uh, agreed for both warranty hmm, uh, within bracket that is replacement of defective meters bracket close 
as well as guarantee within bracket of paying twice the cost of meters if meters are not replaced bracket close thus the learned tribunal uh, uh, was convinced on facts that the clause in the terms and conditions uh, has an inbuilt warranty clause thus we are of the view that no substantial question of law arises on this issue as the tribunal has, uh, has decided in favor of the ssc by returning a finding of fact in the result uh, substantial questions of law number 1 4 1 and 4 2 and 5 sorry sir 1 and 4 are decided against the revenue following the decision in the assessee's own case for the assessment year 7 8 8 9 12 13 we we'll stop substantial questions of law number 2 and 5 are decided against the revenue following the decision of in the assessee's own case Uh, decision of the tribunal hmm, in the assessee's own case which has attained finality for the assessment year 7 8 8 9 substantial questions of law uh, the not sorry the questions of the substantial questions of law suggested under uh, under questions 3 6 and 7 are not uh, are uh, uh, sorry being entirely factual come on and the tribunal having uh, having decided in favor of the ssc by returning a finding on fact come on we are of the view that there are that no such substantial question of law arises for consideration the result appeals stands dismissed number no. 7 Yes, sir. Seven Milord is my appeal. Lord, there is a cross appeal also, Milord, uh, filed by the SSC. Lord, I have received a supplementary affidavit, Milord, on twenty ninth of March. Lord, it's thick. Lord, a lot of people. Don't give it to us. It is not very thick, Milord. It just comprises of the paper book filed before. All right, let him go. Lord, I could not not sit yesterday with this. Lord, Lord, no, you don't. You have it with you. My appeal, I am prepared, but there, Milord, cross objection, Milord. my appeal lord i can argue but lord there no, no. cross subject you, you go through it you take it um a supplementary affidavit has been filed by the respondent ssc by the ssc along with annexures and the learned standing council senior standing council prays for time to go through the papers let the supplementary affidavit be filed before the court on the next hearing date List the matter and so on, so on. I'm grateful, Lord. Okay. Number nine. Nine, my Lord, is my appeal. Lord, here, my Lord, there are two assessment orders. Mm. Two milord appellate orders, milord one round before this honourable court in two sixty a, and milord this is the other round. Milord, it is that remand matter, milord, which your lordship, milord, lordships were hearing, milord, where milord the question as to whether it was a limited remand or a, or milord an open remand. Mm. Milord here, milord and the assessee. Uh, milord, no, what, what has that matter got to do with this? No. Milord, in in the same matter, Milord, these in the entirety of the events, Milord, which I mentioned happened. What happened to that matter, Milord? It is that matter only, Milord. It was not completed. Oh, it was not completed. Milord, here the SSC, Milord, the SSC floated as many as twelve companies, and Milord introduced share capital as share capital, Milord. It's undisclosed income, Milord, to the tune of seventeen crore. Lord, as far back as Milord, eighty nine, ninety, ninety one. Now, Milord, six of these twelve companies, Milord, were taken over or acquired, Milord, by, by Shaw Wallace and Company Limited. And Milord, the SSC admits, Milord, that the shares of all these companies, Milord, were sold in cash. 
which the SSC Milot deposited, alleges to have deposited Milot in two bank accounts Milot opened in the name of two firms, Kalo Engineering and Pragati. Now Milot, these funds were also Milot uh, conduited through Milot two Benamdas. One Milot is Mr. Mittal, another Milot is named Chan Jan. Now these things Milot have been taken in, uh, into record, taken note of Milot by the assessing officer. Milot in the first round, when the assessment of Milord of this assessee was going on, the assessment proceedings with respect to Shaw Wallace Company Milord was also going on. Now, Milord, the assessing officer in the first round of litigation Milord adds a sum of 11.86 lakh Milord on protective basis in the assessment proceedings in respect of this assessee. Milord, in the meantime, Milord, the order of assessment passed in respect of Shaw Wallace and Company Limited Milord is challenged and Milord, it is set aside by the appellate tribunal. Now, Milord, this matter also walks up to the appellate tribunal and the appellate tribunal says that since it was an addition on protective basis and since the substantive addition in respect of Shaw Wallace and company has been effaced by the appellate tribunal and has, has been remanded back for fresh consideration, let this matter also go back to the assessing officer for fresh, fresh consideration upon taking into consideration the subsequent facts. The assessing officer, Milord, considers this and Milord, he makes a substantive addition of a different sum. This, this is not 11.86. From the same transaction, Milord, he calls out 12 point something lakh and Milord, he adds that. Milord, that order, order is challenged before the ITAT again. Milord, the ITAT confirms the addition. Milord, against that, Milord, the SSC moves up before this Honorable Court. This Honorable Court, Milord, remands the matter back, Milord, to the assessing officer, to the appellate tribunal, Milord, with certain observations. Milord, may I take your lordship, Milord, to those observations? First? Yes. Milord, your lordship will find the order passed by this Honorable Court. <coughs> Page 48. Yes, below. Page 48. Milord, from the uh, uh, first paragraph itself, by an order of the tribunal dated 8th October 1999, the appeal of the SSC was partly allowed by setting aside the impugned block assessment and directing the assessing officer to examine the facts of the case once more after hearing the SSC, taking into account further developments in the block assessment and make a fresh assessment order. Rupees 1186 lakh were added to the 11.86 uh, lakh Milord it should be, mm. were added to the account of the SSE on a protective basis. The protective addition was made in connection with a block assessment order made in the case of Shaw Wallace and Company Limited, where these additions were made in a substantive manner. According to the tribunal, since this substantive addition has been set aside and remanded, the case of the SSC required a relook. The remand was thus very limited. The matter was remitted to the assessing officer from the order of the assessing officer dated 27th March 2022. An appeal was preferred before the tribunal. We find from the impugned order of the tribunal dated 31st March 2005 that it has not confined itself to this narrow issue but has made observations of issues which were not remanded to it. The no, my Lord, it says we find from the impugned order of the tribunal that it has not confined itself to this narrow issue, but has made observation, uh, uh, made consideration of issues which were not remanded to it, to the tribunal. Lord, the remand was uh, not to the tribunal. Lord. The remand was by the tribunal to the assessing officer. Yeah. No, my Lord, the following grounds were taken: that the AO was wrong in making addition in reassessment on the new issue, which was not subject to the set-aside assessment by the ITAT in appeal number such and such. As such, new addition of 124180 mentioned in course of hearing as such and such in reassessment is bad in law. That the AO was wrong in changing the findings given by his predecessor in the original assessment. No fresh material or evidence as such change in opinion and finding from the original assessment is not permissible as such the addition made based on change of opinion and finding is wrong and need to be decided. The AO was wrong in making addition of rupees 1241-00000, whereas sources of deposit in two bank accounts were from SWC and its subsidies, which is clear-cut finding of AO in the original assessment, ignoring the findings of ADIT and his predecessor in assessment, and documents submitted at the time of reassessment proceeding without any basis is need to be deleted. The AO one side he made addition and the other side he himself gives finding that SWCL had siphoned off cash in cash 
through dubious methods in league with several persons. This shows that the money does not belong to the SSC and belongs to SWCL and sources of deposit in two bank accounts stands well explained as such no addition need to be deleted. We find also from the impugned order of the tribunal dated 31st March 2005 that the tribunal has not addressed these issues in the manner that they should have been dealt with in accordance with the earlier order of the tribunal dated 8th October 1999. For those reasons, we set aside the impugned order of the tribunal dated 31st March 2005. As 15 years have elapsed, we direct the tribunal to redetermine the appeal as expeditiously as possible by hearing the parties and by a reasoned order, preferably within four months of communication of this order. Now, my lord, before I take your lordship, my lord, to anything else, my lord, just for the purpose, my lord, of uh, getting a grip on facts again, my lord, I shall, my lord, place snippets, my lord, of the first order of assessment, my lord, passed by the assessing officer in these proceedings, my lord, because those capture the facts, my lord, that is the original order. My lord, the order is at page 18. Lord, search under section 132 was conducted at the following premises in connection with search in case of Mr. Shaw Wallace and Company, A4 Synagogue Street and B, HM Market, TR Fukan Road, Guwahati. These premises are offices from which one Shri Nemchan Jain was alleged to operate. Shri Nemchan Jain is a broker with membership of the Guwahati Stock Exchange. He is a director of six companies listed with the Guwahati Stock Exchange, which were suspected to be involved in siphoning funds out of SWC, Shaw Wallace & Company. In course of search and subsequent investigation, it was revealed that Sri Nemchan Jain is a mere name lender and the main person behind transactions entered by him is Sri R.R. Modi. Lord, he is the SSE. Sri Jain merely signs checks, documents as per instructions of Sri Modi. These facts were admitted by both Sri Jain and Shri Modi in their statements before the ADIT investigation. Shri Modi admitted that he was instrumental in floating 12 companies, wherein he introduced share capital amounting to rupees 170.03 lakh. It was stated by him that these funds were utilized to enter into share transactions which generated further income of rupees 18.50 lakh, commission of rupees 15 lakh, received by Shri Jain and enjoyed by Shri Modi also remain unaccounted. Shri Modi admitted undisclosed income of rupees 203.52 lakh. In these circumstances and facts revealed and admitted, notice under section 158 BC was issued, read with section 158 BD. Now, my lord, I shall take your lordship to the next page, my lord. Next page, my lord, is my lord the statement, statement. of my lord uh, Mr. Modi that I had promoted the following companies in which I had got share applications made during the years 89, 90, 90, 91 in different names aggregating to rupees 170.03 lakh approximately. I do hereby acknowledge that the money so invested in cash in such companies in the name of various applicants has been invested out of my undisclosed income. Now, my lords, the first six companies, my lord, of the uh, 11 companies which have been mentioned here, my lord, were taken over, my lord, by the uh, Shaw Wallace & Company Limited, my lord, subsequently. My lord, lordship will get this, my lord, at page 24. <clears throat> my lord, in, in, in paragraph 3.6, my lord, of the order, my lord, that has been mentioned. Thereafter, my lord, I'm sorry. Yes. However, subsequently, the said shares have been sold out by me and got the money liquidated. That the money so received as sale proceeds of such shares has been inter alia applied and used in depositing and withdrawals into and or from the bank accounts of Messrs. Carlo Engineering Works and Messrs. Pragati Engineering Company from time to time and peak credit of these two undisclosed bank accounts has already been disclosed by me before your honor. The peak credit for the financial year 1994-95 amounts to rupees such and such, and 1894 followed by an enhanced peak cash credit in the financial year such and such amounts not given. Since the peak credit of both the bank accounts is much lesser than the amount invested by me as the cash subscription into the above set companies, and in view of the fact that the same money has been rotated in these two bank accounts, no additional income whatsoever has accrued to me 
and I'm taking into account that amount invested in the said companies from disclosure for disclosure purposes being the higher of the two. That apart from the above, in my earlier deposition, I have stated that the business carried on in the name of Sri Nem Chanjan virtually and in fact belongs to me, which has been confirmed by Sri Nem Chanjan also. Therefore, the income earned on this account has also to be taken into account. The turnover of Sri Nem Chanjan during the period since the date he was admitted to the membership of the stock exchange in respect of the share sold has been as follows. No separate brokerage or commission was levied upon the rates at which the transactions has taken place. Now, my Lord, this is given, Lord, I shall not trouble a Lordship with the entirety of this. Kindly take, my Lord, the last paragraph at page 20. Last paragraph, Lord, at yes. page 20. The SSE stated that he had made disclosure in the block rupees 1400-4962 in two bank accounts of Kalo Engineering Works and Pragati Engineering Company with Syndicate Bank, Brabon Road Branch. These two bank accounts were opened on 27th May 1994, were closed on 2nd September 95. From the perusal of these two bank accounts, it was found that an amount of Rs. 754 lakh and Rs. 936 lakh were respectively withdrawn in cash. Further, it was seen that an amount of 574 lakh and 657 lakh were received, these two bank accounts, from the bank account of NC Jain and PL Mittal. Lord NC Jain and PL Mittal, Lord, your lordships have noted Lord, that these are Benamdas of the SSE only. These bank accounts of Mr. N.C. Jain and P.L. Mittal are also in Syndicate Bank, Brebon Road Branch, Calcutta. During the course of hearing, the SSE was asked, be the order sheet noting dated 2298 to submit inter alia, the following particulars on 6298. Details proceed of the share, uh, share capital in 12 investment companies, capital gain and its linkage with deposit in the two bank accounts of Kalo Engineering Works and Prakati Pragati Engineering Company, Two, details of purpose of deposits and withdrawal in the bank accounts of Kalo Engineering Works and Pragati Engineering Company. The SSE and his authorized representatives appeared before me and sought one week time, more time to furnish the details. Time was given, Lord adjournment was given. Thereafter, the SSE 3.3, the SSE and his authorized representative appear, appeared on 8 to 18 to 98 and filed a letter of even date. In the letter, the SSE submitted that the share investment in those companies were sold by him in cash and it was not possible to bring any linkage of deposits with the bank accounts of Kalo Engineering Works and Pragati Engineering Company. According to him, these shares have been sold at par and there was no profit on the said sale of shares. However, the SSE did not furnish any explanation regarding the purposes of deposit and withdrawal of monies from these two bank accounts. Lord, while on this, Lord, kindly once more, Lord, turn to page 19. Page 19, my Lord, paragraph 2, my Lord. Kindly see this, my Lord. I am reading again, Lord, page, uh, page 21, paragraph 3.3. Lord, it says, a SESI and his authorized representative appeared on 18 to 98 and filed a letter. Uh, of even date. In the letter, the SSC submitted that the share investment in those companies were sold by him in cash and it was not possible to bring any linkage of deposits with the bank accounts of Kalo Engineering and Pragati. Now we'll look at page 19, paragraph 2. The money so received as sale proceeds of such shares has been inter alia applied and used in depositing and withdrawals into and or from the bank accounts of Messrs. Kalo Engineering and Pragati. Lord, at one place he says there is no linkage. Lord, but ultimately the assessing officer says it is independent. Yes, Lord, but but this, Lord, your lordship will see his uh, his statement also, Lord. There is there is, Lord, I have seen, Lord, there is something very very wrong here, very very wrong, Lord. It appears from his statement, Lord, he says that it, they were used mm. for depositing and withdrawal. Then he says I cannot link it. Then, Lord, the assessing officer goes ahead and says that these are monies which are coming from Shovelis and Company. My Lord, the SSE the at one point of time says we have refunded the amount. My Lord, if he has received money from Shovelis and Company for the purpose of selling, my Lord, his shares. My Lord, the question of refund of that, my Lord, I am yet to understand. My Lord, I could not understand this logic. Because 
uh, if you read all those statements and come to paragraph 3.7. Yes. It says the, the assessee in a letter dated has stated is invested out of undisclosed income. No, statement no. admitted I retained on 186 lakhs of net cash withdrawal of 11. 3.7. Ah. Page 24. Internal page uh, yes. 7. Yes, ah, yes, yes, yes. See, last uh, five lines. Yes. The yes. above facts clearly establish that there is no linkage of the assessee's undisclosed income as disclosed in the block return and the transactional bank accounts of Kalol and Pragati. The transactions, those two bank accounts, are independent of the, the disclosure made by the assessee in the block return. As discussed in the block assessment, case of so-and-so, these two bank accounts have been utilized to siphon off funds in... Um, uh, in league with so and so. Bank accounts are owned by Modi. The net amount of cash withdrawal of so and so bank account is taken as undisclosed. You know, as a C on protective basis, he has been assessed. Yes. Now, this order has been set aside. This, this order is set aside. Because in uh, the in block S assessment of Shawalis uh, uh, and Company, the uh, substantive addition was set aside and remanded. So, here also, Milord, it is set aside and remanded uh. with a rider, Milord. If your lordship sees me lord, that's right. Come to para page 29, para 3. Yes, my lord. Page 29, para 3, my lord, is your lordship will read me lord page 52, my lord, because that is extracted there. Uh, it's lord, not this clear. is not readable. Page 52, my lord, the uh, IT80's order, my lord, extracts that. Page 52. Yes. It has been learned that the Milord, the ITEL exportion Milord, in between. It has been learned that the tribunal has set aside the block assessment order in the case of SWC and has directed the AO to reassess the same in the light of an order passed by the Calcutta High Court in writ petition filed by SWC in WP number such and such relating to the block assessment and also regular assessments for the relevant period. Since the assessment in which the addition of Rs. 1186 lakh has been made in a substantive manner, itself stands set aside for reframing purposes. In fitness of things, the addition of the amounts in the hands of the present assessee also on protective basis should, should require a fresh examination. We therefore set aside the impugned block assessment and direct the AO to examine the facts of the case once more after allowing the assessee an opportunity of being heard and also to take into consideration the further developments in the block assessment and thereafter to come up with a fresh assessment order in the case of the assessor. Hmm. Lord, this is the order of remand. Thereafter, my Lord, the assessing officer my Lord, does the fresh assessment, which is my Lord, at page 31. Lord, there is a narration of facts, my Lord, till your Lordship will. Yes, you had referred to page uh, to 32. Huh? Yes, yes, my lord. I had referred, my lord. And uh, then 32, 34, 30, Yes, my lord, because 30, the facts were narrated there. 35. Ultimately. Your lordship will kindly take, my lord, page 35. 35, last paragraph. Yes, yes. The submission of the SSE has been examined. Found the SSE is not the submission of the SSE have been examined. It is found this, that the SSE has not been able to prove that the credits in the two bank accounts, Kalo Engineering and Pragati, have come from SWCL and its subsidiaries through the bank accounts of NC Jain and PL Mittal. As discussed above, Sri NC Jain and PL Mittal both are benamdars of the SSE. Therefore, the check deposits in the two bank accounts of KEW and PEC, totaling to rupees such and such, which is the correct total amount, is treated as unexplained and the same is to be treated as undisclosed income of the SSE. Lord, it is admitted by the SSE himself, Lord, that KEC, that Lord NC, PL Mittal and NC Jain are my Benamdas. Lord, the money which is deposited by them is their money. Lord, here he says, the cash withdrawals from the accounts are applications of income only, and as such addition of the same on protective basis is not warranted. Besides, in the case of SWCL, it is seen from the block assessment order that there was no substantive assessment of the amount of rupees 11.86 crore as such in the hands of SWC. In that case, on the basis of investigations, it was revealed 
that the fund of fund of SWCL to the tune of rupees eighty nine point zero two crore out of the ICDs of rupees two one nine point seven seven crore utilized for acquisition of six Guwahati based companies was held to be for non business purpose as the money was siphoned off in cash through dubious methods in league with several persons including the SSC and accordingly interest on ICDs totaling to rupees sixty seven point six five crore was disallowed. Subject to the above, Milord he assesses this. My Lord, this order is challenged, my Lord, before the ITAT for the first time. My Lord, your Lordship will find that order at page 39. What, what does the tribunal say in sum and substance? My Lord, sum and substance, your Lordship will find, my Lord, at page 47. No? My Lord, from my Lord, page 46. Lord, rather, Lord, page 45, Lord, last paragraph. Page 45, Lord. We have heard the rival contentions and perused the materials available on record. On the first appeal filed by the SSC, the ITAT VIDA, it's order dated 8-10-1999 in such and such, set aside the block assessment order and directed the assessing officer to examine the facts of the case once more after allowing the SSC opportunity of being heard and also to take into consideration the further block de further development in the block assessment in the case of SWCL to be reframed as block assessment. In the impugned order dated 27-3-2002, the assessing officer has observed that in the case of SWCL, who had invested an amount of rupees 89.02 crore for acquisition of six Guwahati-based companies, had util utilized the services of the SSC. Money was advanced by SWCL to its subsidiaries, and the same were given to name lenders, namely Name Chan Jain and PL Mittal. In the block assessment order of SWCL, it has been held that the amount of rupees 89.02 crore utilized for acquisition of six Guwahati based companies were used for non business purposes and siphoned off through various dubious methods. So it cannot be said, as strongly argued by the learned counsel, uh, that it is the department who has, who has been told. Uh, I'm I'm unable to read you know, who has been told, told holding on the amount of checks deposited were from SWCL. The withdrawals of cash from Pragati Engineering Company and Kalo Engineering Works was held to be the dubious method adopted by SWCL to siphon off funds. This has been narrated earlier in this order. The SSC had admitted that he was instrumental in floating 12 companies, wherein he had introduced share capital amounting to rupees 117.03 lakh. It was also stated by him that these funds were utilized by him to enter into share transactions with generated income of rupees 18.5 lakh and commission of rupees 15 lakh as per his own governments. The SSC admitted undisclosed income of rupees 203.52 lakh on the basis of such deposits. Therefore, there is a direct linkage between the two and it cannot be said that the SSC never owned the money which had been siphoned off through, through its Benam Das and the bogus companies. The assessing officer therefore on the basis of these facts held that no substantive assessments having been made in the hands of SWCL, the sum of rupees 11.86 crore need not be made under protective measure in the hands of the SSC. He held that the checks deposited in the two bank accounts totaling to rupees 12.41 crore is to be treated as unexplained in the hands of the SSC without prejudice to any treatment in any other case. The cash withdrawals from the accounts were applicable to income only and as such addition of the same on protective basis was not warranted. Therefore, it is amply clear that having entered into league with SWCL and in connivance with the Benamdas and by floating two bogus companies whose bank accounts have been considered, the SSC stand of having nothing to do with the amounts received by it in the bank and withdrawn therefrom for the purpose of utilizing the same on direction of SWCL could not be substantiated by any mode of evidence or justification. In the statement before FERA, Calcutta, on 7 11 96, the SSC had submitted that the sum of rupees 80 crore cash approximately generated by him from the local market on hand and Shawalis group of companies after adjustment of different heads, such as unofficial rate of interest payment and other payments towards liaison work, payments were made towards purchase of 10 to 12 breweries and distilleries by Shaw Wallace Group in India, leaving about rupees 50 crore, was plowed, plowed back in SWCL 
in the form of investment in these companies. The balance of rupees 10 crore was paid in different places in India to different highly influential people who are in the realm of decision making has not been put to test by any method by the SSC in spite of granting ample opportunities. The SSC preferred to hold back rupees 2.03 crore by way of justifying brokerage and commission from the same. No, uh, ultimately, yes, the undisclosed income was 12.03 crores. Yes, lakh. Lakhs. Lakhs. Crores, it says. 12.03 lakh milot was added. Lakhs. 11, 11, in, in, uh, 12.43, uh, 41. 12.41. 12.41 1 lakh. 41 lakhs were added. 11.86 lakh. 12.41 crore. Not. The SSC had offered 2.03. Ah. That was the admitted undisclosed part. The addition was originally was 11.86 crore and now it is 12.41 crore. That those are the those figures are in crores. Now this order was set aside. Yes, yes, crore, Lord, I'm sorry. And uh, the now, my Lord, the ITAT, my Lord, ultimately upon uh, the remand by this honourable court, my Lord, passes an order, my Lord, which is at page fifty-one. Hmm. My Lord. The grounds are dealt with lot from page 55 onwards. Mm, para nine. Yes. The ground number one is a legal issue wherein the SEC challenges that the AO was wrong in making the addition in the second assessment order of 2002 on a new issue which was not subject matter to the set-aside assessment by the tribunal VDA order dated 88-10-1999, first tribunal order. Therefore, according to the SSE, the AO erred on four counts. One, AO erred in ordering addition of substan on substantive basis, whereas the original block assessment order of 1998, the additions made was only on protective basis because substantive addition was made in the hands of SWC. Milot, the finding of AO is substantive addition is not made in the hands of SWC. If your Lordship sees, Milot, the second assessment order, he says that since no substantive addition is done, if your Lordship turns back, Milot, once more, Milot, if your Lordship yes, yes. takes, Milot, page. In the tribunal's order, no. In the tribunal's order also, Milord, and the uh, assessing officer also, Milord, in the second assessment order, Milord, he has, he has found this. Uh, page number 34, below para 4. It is also found on examination of the records of SWCL that no substantive yes. assessment of yes has been made in the block assessment. So, Milord, this is the finding of the assessing officer, mm -hmm. Milord. The uh, Milord Assisi says that substantive addition is done. Uh, that AO erred in making addition, new addition of 12.41 crore in reassessment in place of 11.86 crore when it was already taxed in the hands of Mrs. SWC. That the AO erred in adding the credit entries in two bank accounts in reassessment, whereas the AO in the original block assessment of 1998 made addition of cash withdrawal from these two bank accounts and taxed the entire credits in the hands of Mrs. SWC. That in any case, the AO erred in making the addition of rupees 12.41 crore in the hands of the SSC when the nature and source of credit entries are proved to be from Mrs. SWC or its subsidiaries and consequently addition was substantially made in the hands of SWC. Lord, it proceeds Lord, on, on the basis that Lord, addition was substantively done Lord, in the hands of Shaw Wallace and Company. Therefore, according to the SSC, when the AO in the original block assessment order of 1998 made additions only on protective basis in the hands of the SSC because substantive addition was made in the hands of SWC, the AO erred in making substantive addition for the aforesighted faults. Consequently, the AO's second block assessment order of 2002 is bad in law and therefore the AO's action was not permissible as per law and facts and therefore needs to be deleted in total. Per but contra then the tribunal remanded the matter. It, Millard, here it did not. Millard, it decides. No, no. First round. First round it remanded. So second round, my lord, it affirmed the order, my lord, passed in upon remand. Because in the first round, when it remanded, it directed because uh, that Shawalas, 
uh, that entirety will not have been effaced. Therefore, Lord, it said that you reconsider it because the substantive addition in, in the hands of Shaw Wallace has been done away with. Therefore, you reconsider in the light of additional facts which may come up. No, Lord. But on the second round, the uh, assessing officer finds that in the hands of Shaw Wallace, there is no substantive. Oh, yes, yes, that is my, my Lord. That is my uh, my query, my Lord. Here, my Lord, he, the assessing officer and the tribunal, uh, the assessee and the tribunal, my Lord, are are at one on this, my Lord, that there has been a substantive addition in SWC's case, my Lord. But after remand, remand, my Lord, the records reveal, my Lord, as far as I find, my Lord, from the assessing officer's, my Lord, conclusions, that, my Lord, there was no substantive addition in the hands of SWC, my Lord, in the second round. But. Uh... On that ground, he sets aside the entire. Yes, Lord. He sets aside the entire, Lord, and he he has held, Lord, on two two counts, Lord. He says that the issue was only with respect to addition of, Lord, eleven point eight six crore. Therefore, Lord, twelve point four one crore, Lord, is something new, which you could not have done because the remand was limited. Oh, remand. Okay. Now, page fifty six, Lord. Paragraph 10. Lord, before that, Lord, just I'll, I'll just complete Lord, four lines Lord, of the submissions of the department. Per contra, the learned CIT DR vehemently opposed the submission of the learned AR and contended that the first tribunal order of 1999 gives the second AO the liberty to frame fresh block assessment against the SSC and the second day out taking note that no substantive addition has been made in the hands of Mrs. SWC has rightly framed the substantive addition of rupees 12.41 crore, which action of the second day does not require any interference from our side. Having heard both sides in detail on two occasions and having perused the records carefully, we note the facts in brief are that search under section 132 of the case of the act was conducted in the SSE's premises along with search of Shawalis group. The AO in the original assessment found that Sri Nem Chan Jain, hereafter referred to as Sri N, and Sri PL Mittal, who are Benamdas of SSE, which fact has been accepted, admitted by the SSE. The AO found that the SSE had incorporated 11 companies, six out of which were taken over by SWC, according to the AO. The SSE had opened two bank accounts in the name of Messrs. Kahlo and Messrs. Pragati on 27-5-1994 to 2-9-1995. And in those bank accounts, 12.41 crore was deposited from the bank account of NC Jain and PL Mittal. And that they are intermediaries in turn received and, and that they and other intermediaries in turn received approximately 89.02 crore from SWC. And thereafter siphoned off through bank account of Messrs. Kahlo and Messrs. Pragati as cash withdrawal to the tune of rupees 11.86 crore. According to the AO, in the bank account of Mrs. Messrs. Pragati, the following deposits were credited. Now, my Lord, there is a chart given. Thereafter, the SSE had withdrawn net amount of rupees 11.86 crore, which he could not explain properly. Therefore, according to the first AO, even though the SSE had filed the return of income pursuant to notice under section 158 BC of the Act and reflected an amount of rupees 2 crore and odd, which was shown as his undisclosed income. Lord, there, there is a calculation. I'm skipping. The amount shown by the SSE as undisclosed income has no nexus with the bank deposits in Messrs. Kahlo and Messrs. Pragati. And further, according to him, though the amount deposited in these two bank accounts are from Mrs. SWC, which was deposited through bank accounts of Sri N C Jain and Sri P L Mittal by check, both being Benamdas of the SSE. And since SSE has admitted of operating both bank accounts of Mrs. Kahlo and Pragati, according to first two, the amount was credited in bank accounts of Mrs. Kahlo and Pragati was from SWC. And since the amount of rupees 11.86 crore was withdrawn by the SSE from these two bank accounts, the first two added it in the hands of the SSE on a protective basis. Now, my Lord, then thereafter, the uh, second AO, uh, AO's, my Lord, observations are there. Lord, I shall not, my Lord, trouble your Lordship with paragraph 12. Paragraph, my Lord, 13. Thereafter, in the second round, pursuant to remand, it is important to note that second AO gave notice to the SSE under sections such and such of the Act wherein the SSE was asked to explain as to why the amount of rupees 11.86 crore being the net cash withdrawal from the bank accounts of Kahlo and Mrs. Pragati, which bank account were owned up by the SSE should not be assessed 
as his undisclosed income on protective basis. Thereafter, second day, taking note of the assessee's objection, which has been reproduced by him in the impugned order, has noted that no substantive assessment of the amount of rupees 11.86 crore as such has been made in the block assessment of Messrs. SWC. Therefore, he was of the opinion that the matter requires further examination. Thereafter, he noted that in the two bank accounts of Messrs. Kahlo and Messrs. Pragati, there were check deposits totaling to rupees 575 lakhs from Sri N.C. Jan, 657 lakhs from P.L. Mittal. Thereafter, the AO noted that both these persons were mere name nailers of the SSE and person behind both of them were the SSE himself. Thus, he held that Sri N.C. Jain and P.L. Mittal share brokers were Benamdas of the SSE and both their bank account numbers such and such in their respective names in syndicate bank. Brebon Road were in fact operated and transacted by the SSE. Thereafter, the SSE noted after perusal of block assessment of Mrs. SWC that Mrs. SWC had invested 89.02 crore through subsidiaries for acquisition of six Guwahati based companies. Thereafter, the second AO notes that the bank accounts of Messrs. Kahlo and Pragati are different from, from that of the bank account in the name in the same branch in the name of NC Jain and PL Mittal. And thereafter, he observes that since the SSE has owned up these two bank accounts, Kahlo and Pragati, and through the credits in the, these two bank accounts, Kahlo and Pragati are from NC and PL Mittal, even though the SSE has asserted that the deposits in the accounts of NC Jain and PL Mittal was from SWC, this fact was not established. I think you can skip the rest and come to page 61. Yes. Fifth, sixth, seventh line. In the yes. aforesaid background. Yes. In the aforesaid background of the case, when we examine the legal issue that has been raised before us, that since the AO in the original block assessment order of 1998 has made only, only protective addition of rupees 11.86 crore in the hands of the SSE, whether the AO in the second impugned block reassessment order dated 2002 in the light of the specific direction of the tribunal's order dated 1999, limited remand, whether the second AO can make the addition on substantive basis on a different subject matter, that is when the first round of the AO made the addition on the cash withdrawals of rupees 11.86 crore protectively in the hands of the SSE, since substantive addition was made in the hands of SWC, and in the light of the limited remand order by the tribunal, whether in the second round the AO could have made the substantive addition of rupees 12.41 crore by taking note of the credit entries in the bank account of Messrs. Kahlo, and Messrs. Pragati, when the same was already added on substantive basis in the hands of SWC. So, my Lord, this substantive addition in the hands of SWC, my Lord, this has been repeatedly said, my Lord, but the assessing officer's finding is, my Lord, to the contrary. No, ultimately, he quotes that uh, tribunal's direction, and you come to page 62, uh, para 16, middle of that para. Yes. My Lord, meaning thereby. Ah, meaning thereby. Meaning that. thereby. Meaning thereby that since substantive addition of 11.86 crore ma made in the hands of SWC has already been set aside back to AO for fresh block or regular assessment, the second AO, while reassessing the SSE, has to look for any further development in the reassessment of Mrs. SWC, then that fact has to be considered while making the fresh assessment of the SSE. Lord, the fact, my Lord, has been looked into. My Lord, SSE says that at that point of time when the remand was done, my Lord, it was substantively added, which was set aside. That is the order of remand, Lord, that the addition which was substantively done in it the was not of... done substantively at the first instance. My Lord, it was, my Lord. Because if your Lordship sees no, in first, first instance, yes. First instance, it was done in SWC. Thereafter, my Lord, it was set aside, remanded. My Lord, this forms the reasoning for the tribunal to set aside and remand, my Lord, the order which was passed by the first assessing officer here. He says that since the substantive addition in the hands of SWC has been set aside and remanded, therefore the protective addition in the hands of the SSE is also to set aside and uh, uh, remanded for reframing purposes, taking into uh, consideration the additional facts. Now, my Lord, the additional fact in my respectful submission here will be that there is no substantive addition. My Lord, that is what the assessing officer says, that there is no substantive addition. Therefore, I am proceeding to add. Now, my Lord, they, uh, the, the authorities may not limit it even to the, uh, to the amount that it cannot be 11 point, uh, more than 11.86. 
it has to be milord hovering around 11 point hover around 11.86 only it cannot be 12.41 it cannot be milord 11.80 it has to be 11.86 milord remand milord limited remand also milord this will be too restricted and constricted a view milord to take milord if then milord this the the observation of the tribunal while remanding saying that you take into consideration the further facts milord this becomes socios in my very respectful submission milord Same thing, he is repeating. Yes, Milord, same thing, Milord. This, this, uh, it was very painful, Milord, and uh, uh, <laughs> the little, Milord, I have little, Milord, upstairs, Milord, all that also vanished <laughs> after reading. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll hear senior and then come back. Yes. Yes, sir. Simple, the, uh, could have been a five-page order or a three-page order. I was written 50 pages, sir. Well, there is repetition, what I have seen. Mm. But the, the reason but perhaps why the tribunal took that pain was because of an observation made by the assessing officer himself in the second order, mm. which the tribunal has not extracted. I mean, I'll show that observation first and then not take my lords to the tribunal's order. Can you take note page 34? Yes. But, uh, there's a just there's a new paragraph just started. It's also found just above that. The set aside block assessment in the case of S2 S. So where sir? Which paragraph? But page 34. Yes. In the paragraph number four at the bottom. Just above that new paragraph which is started. Ah, it is also found. Uh, above that note. Just above that. Ah. The set aside block assessment in the case of SWCL has already been completed on 30th March 2000. And the findings in the original block assessment in respect of the other matter as dis discussed above remains unaltered. Appeal filed by SWCL against the said order is pending before the ITAT. So the tribunal, the assessing officer himself found that the whatever was there in the original assessment has remained unaltered. Then he goes on to say that it is not added on substantive basis. So tribunal say that but in, in one breath you are saying that original assessment remains the same up, upon remand in the case of Shaw Wallace. And then you are going on to say that it has not been added. So this is an incons inconsistent finding. Then tribunal has analyzed this part to say that at various stages, it has been found that it has been added. You are saying that it has remained the same. Therefore, your finding that it has not been added is not consistent with the uh, finding that it has been, that your assessment order has remained the same. This discussion is made note at page 62, if my lords are pleased to see. But kindly see uh, at page 62, but seven lines from the bottom, paragraph 16. Yes. So first of all, not from there. Mm. So first of all, we have to examine whether there was any further development in the case of Shawalis. This question has been answered by the second day in the impugned order of 2002. Second block reassessment at page 8 of the impugned order, refer page 74 of paper book. In his own words, the set aside block assessment in the case of Shawalis has already been completed on 30th March 2000 and the findings in the original block assessment in respect of the other matter discussed above remain unaltered. Mm. The AO found that pursuant to the tribunal remand in the case of SWC, the second AO has framed the reassessment in the case of Shawalis on 30th March, and the finding in the original block assessment of Shawalis remains unaltered, meaning thereby no addition or deduction or deletion has been made in the addition made in the hands of Shawalis, and the order passed in the original assessment in the case of Shawalis has been followed, reiterating the second block assessment order dated 30th March 2000. Therefore, it is clear that not even one rupee addition or one rupee deletion has been made by the AO in the reassessment of block period of Shawalis. In such a scenario, the tribunal's direction to the AO need to be carefully appreciated. That is to make take into consideration the further developments in the block assessment. Uh, it, it is implied that it is of Shawalis and thereafter to come up with a fresh assessment order in the case of the SSE. Thus, when we appreciate the direction of the tribunal in the first order of 1999, we note that the AO was directed while framing the fresh assessment order of a SSE of SS to take into consideration further development in the case of Shawalis, in whose hands the substantive assessment of 11.86 was made by the AO 
in the original round of block assessment. However, we note that the second AO himself has admitted that there's no alteration in the hands of Shawalis, meaning that no addition deduction, in other words, no further development in the hands of Shawalis in the second round. So necessary corollary is that when in the reassessment order of Shawalis, no changes development is there, then as per the specific direction of first tribunal order of 1999, the AO in the second round could not have disturbed the finding rendered in, in the original block assessment order passed by his predecessor, AO 1998 in Assessi's case, because that would tantamount to the second AO review his own order with power he does not enjoy. That is the precise reason why the Honorable High Court has made a specific observation in this context while directing this tribunal to redetermine this appeal by observing this remand was thus very limited. In the aforesaid backdrop, therefore, the AO's order in the original assessment dated 27 to 98, wherein he made only protective assessment to the tune of 11.86 crore would not have been disturbed by the second AO because there is no change for the development in the findings recorded in the second block assessment, a block reassessment order of Shawalas dated 30th March 2000. So AO's impugned order of 2002 is vitiated for having exceeded the specific direction given by the tribunal, which is impermissible and therefore bad in law. Further, we note that AO states that there was no substantive assessment of the amount of 11.86 crore in the hand of Shawalas. This finding of second AO cannot be countenanced for the following reasons. Firstly, this finding is contrary to the AO's original assessment order because in the first round, the protective assessment was made in the hands of the SSC because substantive assessment was made in the hands of Shawalas. Secondly, the tribunal in its first order of 1999 has categorically made a finding of fact in its own words. It has been learned that tribunal has set aside the block assessment order in the case of Shawalas and has directed the AO to reassess the same in the light of an order passed by the Calcutta High Court in writ petition filed by Shawalas relating to block assessment and also regular assessment for the relevant period. Since the assessment in which the addition of 11.86 crore should be has been made in a substantive manner itself stands set aside for reframing purpose in fitness of things, the addition of the amount in the hands of the present SSE also on protective basis should require a fresh examination. We therefore set aside the impugned block assessment and direct the to examine the facts of the case once more after allowing the SSE an opportunity of being heard and also to take into consideration the further development in block assessment and thereafter to come up with a fresh assessment order in the case of the SSE. This finding of fact is found by the first tribunal order of 1999 that substantive assessment of 11.86 crore has been made in the hands of Shaw Wallace and protective assessment of which is made in the hands of the SSE has not been challenged by the revenue here before the Honorable High Court or in any application, miscellaneous application was filed by the revenue AO before this tribunal to rectify if any mistake of fact law existed. So it becomes final. Thirdly, even the second AO on the uh, on the one hand says that in set aside proceeding of uh, Shaw Wallace reassessment was framed without any alteration. So the question is that of that if there was no substantive assessment, addition of 11.86 crores in the hands of Shaw Wallace in the second block assessment of Shaw Wallace, then the same amount would have been reduced to that extent from the second block reassessment order of 30th March 2000 in the case of Shawalis, which is not the case of the second AO. And so the finding of the AO is per se contradictory. And in this, in this context, the learned AR explained that in the case of Shawalis, in the first round, the AO noted that Shawalis had deposited rupees 89.2 crore to take over six Guwahati companies and had deposited money in the accounts of NCGen and PK Mittal and intermediaries, meaning thereby that Money transferred by Shawalis to NCGen and PK Mithil had, and then transferred to Kalo and Pragati, which were Benamdar entities having tax substantively in the hands of Shawalis. And according to him, this fact is evident from perusal of the impugned order at page so and so uh, of paper book. The second AO has noted that besides in the case of Shawalis, in that case, on the basis of investigations, it was revealed that the funds of Shawalis to the tune of rupees 89 crore out of ICDS of 219 crore utilized for the acquisition of six Guwahati based companies was held to be for non-business purpose as the money was siphoned off in cash through dubious methods in league with several persons, including the SSE. And accordingly, interest on ICDS totaling rupees 67.65 crore was disallowed. From the aforesaid finding of second year, we note that while he perused the block assessment order, order of Shawalis, he found that 89.02 crore was given by it to acquire six Guwahati companies, which was from ICDS of 219 crore and since the money, 89 crores, was utilized for non-business purpose, the AO disallowed interest expenditure to tune of rupees 67.65 crore in the hands of Shawalis. 
From this discussion, we note that in the block assessment order of Shawalis, it was found that Shawalis had transferred to several persons entities, including the SSC 89 pros, for acquiring six Guwahati based companies. And this amount of 89 pros was from ICDS of 219 pros. And therefore, the AO in the case of Shawalis disallowed the interest expenditure to the tune of 67.65 crore on the reason that the amount of 89.02 crores was utilized for non business purpose. And, with, and we note that these precise reasons, that for these precise reasons, no substantial addition was made in the hands of the SSE because the entire money which has come to the kitty of the SSE, either as credit entry or withdrawal, are from for Shawalis. For this reason only, the first year made addition on the SSE only on protective basis. Another reason to say that the amount credited withdrawn by the SSE from Carlo and Pragati was added substantially in the hands of Shawalis is that the AO's order, first order, of making protective assessment in the hands of the SSE has not been questioned by the CIT, PCIT by exercising power under Section 263 of the Act after the original order was assessment order was passed by the AO as early as 98. And it is common knowledge that after search under Section 132, the ADIT files his investigation report taking into account the seized material from all the search persons entities, which throws light on the discovery of the honored undisclosed income of search persons entities. And if the AO deviates from <laughs> crucial aspects, facts that learned principal CIT, CIT would be expected to have stepped into by exercising his revisional jurisdiction under Section 263 of the Act, which has not happened in this case. So the first AO's action of only making protective assessment of 11.86 crore is more probable in the overall facts of the case, and in all probability, therefore, the same was added on a substantive basis in the hands of Shawalis, which fact could not have been disturbed in the facts uh, discussed supra. In such a factual background, therefore, the second AO could not have reviewed the order of his predecessor AO, which power he does not enjoy. The action of the second AO to hold in the impugned order that no substantive addition was made in the hands of Shawalis for rupees 11.86 crores is clearly reviewing the order of the first year, and that action a year cannot do, but only CIT, PCIT under Section 263 of the Act, as per the scheme of the Act, is empowered to do. And this finding that no substantive, substantive addition of 11.86 crores was made in the hands of Shawalis is contradicting, as noted supra, when in the same breath, the second year notes that in the second block as a reassessment order of Shawalis, nothing was altered, meaning status quo ante, as it is without any change in the case of assessment of Shawalis's concern. So the said observation of second O cannot be countenanced, needs to be ignored on the infirmities pointed out supra. Therefore, for the aforesaid reasons, we are of the considered opinion that second O could not have made substantive addition and that too on the credits received by Carlo and Pragati of 12.41 crore. Therefore, the SSC succeeds on the legal issue raised and therefore we hold in the facts and circumstances discussed above that the second year did not enjoy the jurisdiction to make the addition substantively in the hands of the assessee to the tune of piece 12.41 crore, which is bad in law and therefore it has to be set aside. Then what the tribunal has also examined mm. the assessee's answer that where this where did this money come from? This 12.41 crore, not in the from pages 67 to 72, the tribunal has examined that the money has actually come from Shawalis. And therefore they uh, the tribunal said that well, since the uh, it's the revenues case that it was Shawalis's money and it has gone back to Shawalis. Mm. So where is the question of any addition in the hands of the SSC? Now, this part, if I can show note from the first assessment order, not kindly take note at page uh, uh, twenty one. Yes, but uh, at, under paragraph three point four. Not the uh, statement is extracted. Not. Mm. Uh, kindly see question five. Yes. Please refer to para two of your letter dated 20 December 19. You know, this statement, the question and answer is with reference to the SSE. You know, the SSE himself is being interrogated. Please refer to para two of your letter dated 20 December 96, filed before the ADIT, <clears throat> and para numbers four and six of your letter dated 18 to 98, filed today before me. In these letters, you have stated that the sale proceeds of undisclosed shares have been deposited in these two bank accounts. However, from the bank accounts of Pragati Engineering and Carlo Engineering, it has been gathered that the credit in these two bank accounts have come from the following sources. Then what they mentioned for Pragati, it's NCGN and Mittal, and the amounts are mentioned and Dunlap. 
Then for Kahlo, this they mentioned about NC Jain, Mittal, and Dunlop. Then what the important part, the money coming through NC Jain and PL Mittal has come from Shawalis and company or its subsidiaries. So the, this was the revenues investigation finding then the money mode which has come into these companies has come from Shawalis and its subsidiaries. And remember, this is that 12.41 crore. Yes. So which is not the source of it. They had found themselves that it is Shawalis. And remember, that the money has actually and got... that addition has been set aside. Now, remember, that set aside, but not I, the, the addition which was made, remember, it has been said in several places that the addition was made in the hands of Shawalis of 11.86 crore. Then the officer says that you know, that addition, the uh, that order remains as it is, even upon remand. Then he goes on to say that there is no substantive addition. So that that's why the tribunal said that you cannot say in the same breath that the order remains as it is, and that there is a substantive addition. But there are two ways of looking at it. But you know, either there is a substantive addition, I mean that is how the uh, whole thing has. Uh, uh, the, 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 there's a finding by the tribunal that 11.86 even upon remand was substantively uh, it, it remained added in the hands of Shawalis. No, the other is to but if I can assume this situation but that there was never any substantive addition because it was Shawalis money it went back to Shawalis. So in either situation Hmm. But the the because Assessi Mulot has offered his undisclosed income of rupees two crore. The okay. rest is the money Mulot and whatever he commissioned, he earned Mulot from from doing this work. Mulot that he has offered to tax the 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 principal amount, so to say. Mulot which which Mulot uh, Mulot I, I have placed this part because Mulot this is the part. This was the original stand of the revenue, and in the the, the order which is been passed upon remand, but he has now taken a completely contrary stand. The remand was in respect of 11.86 crore withdrawn from the bank accounts. He has dropped that part. He has added 12.41 crore, which were the credits, which credits were ad admittedly had come from Shawalis. And they, according to the department, the money had gone back to Shawalis. The interest, because the Shawless Mulot had raised some 200 odd crores from ICDS, and Mulot, the interest was being paid on that. So, revenue stand was that this 89 crores has been not used for business purpose. So, Mulot, the entire 67 crores interest paid on those funds were disallowed in the hands of Shawless. All right, we'll consider. We'll go through. <laughs> Not only only one Milot, only one thing, just yeah, you know, Milot. everybody will get confused. <laughs> <laughs> only okay. one thing, Milot, the Lordship will kindly consider this Milot, this yes. that Milot, the money Milot, which was deposited in the two accounts, Milot were, was from Shaw Wallace and Company. Now, Milot, the SSC had sold, sold the shares for cash. Milot, this cash does not find entry into these two bank accounts. Where did the money go? Lord, it has to be unaccounted. Lord, the, the money Lord, which was deposited by Shaw Wallace Lord, goes back to Shaw Wallace. Lord, he sells the shares. Lord, the money evaporates. Lord, that money is not to be found anywhere. Now, Lord, it's 11.26 or 12.41. Lord, the tribunal Lord, has come to a factual finding. Lord, absolutely, Lord, uh, Lord, he relies on Lord, one observation of the assessing officer. Milord, keep, keeping aside three observations, saying, Milord, that there is no substantive addition. He says that the findings are the, are the same. Milord, I may have a different version. Milord, same findings Milord, may not amount to same conclusion Milord, at the end. I may have very many findings Milord, in the body of the order. But Milord, at the ordering portion where I add, Milord, I may not have added that. Milord, he has to Milord, uh, Milord, sever this. But he has read it, findings, and therefore he concludes that since the findings are the same, therefore the addition must have been the same. We will consider. My third zone, sir, judgment reserve. Look, this Act finding two. regarding that uh, pages 67 to 72, I did not place. Look, they are regarding the, how the funding took place. Yes, not page 72, it has been summarized. I'm not the man friend mentioned about this 
sale proceeds of shares no they are not the subject matter here subject matter. they are not subject actually i think the order has been prepared in three installments <laughs> by the tribunal as a result of which there is a repetition a petition has happened that every not... time he started dictating yes, he started from the first yes. that is why <laughs> that that trend is lost no, the oh, trend is, is lost. lost and then you start so the, saying the same thing. what we do is that we read what we have dictated thus far hmm. so that we start off otherwise this problem will come true hmm. except for the last two pages 71 and 72 where it discusses those eight companies etc everything is repeats and at least in the three times it has been repeated <laughs> anyway how does it result i'm ready. judgment reserve aruna martin in yes. i'm appearing for the respondent assistant <laughs> Big matter, small matter? But, uh, small matter. Man. Where who appears? Mr. Mr. Tilak Pitra was appearing when the delay was condoned. He is not here now. Probably he would have thought the matter will go for the rest of the day. All right. At the request of someone next week. Ah, yes. In the last occasion, a delay has been controlled. Page 5 of the state petition of the substantial person of law, but I've yes. gone through this. It is more factual than any law involved, but still I'm placing it. I'm placing the substantial question. Mm. Whether on the facts and circumstances of the case, the explanation offered by the SSC in respect of the expenditure of a sum up to be such and such was satisfactory as per under section 69C of the Act. <laughs> the second substantial question of law, whether on the facts and circumstances of the case, the Honorable Tribunal was justified in upholding the calculation made by the Commissioner of Income Tax Appeal in respect of addition being restricted to rupees such and such. Whether on the facts and circumstances of the case, the Lanet Income Tax Tribunal was justified in deleting the addition made by the assessing official in respect of the unexplained expenditure for a sum up to be such and such. Well, these are the questions and well, the relevant portions wherein well, the tribunal had well, dealt with the factual aspect while well, dealing with this point of law is appearing at page 26. Well, <laughs> but... Uh... The Commission of Appeals did not grant any full relief. No. It restricted, restricted to 3.9%. And uh, that has been examined by the tribunal. Where is the question of law? And that is that is examined, my lot. Uh, if I may show it, uh, page, page 26. 26. Para seven. Yes. Page 26, para 7. I'm placing that before motion. We have heard both the parties and carefully gone through the submissions put forth on behalf of the SSC along with the documents furnished and the case laws relied upon. And peruse the facts of the case, including the finding of the Lanet CIT appeal and other materials available on record. We note that the SSC, as per his own admission, had made the undisclosed sales from non undisclosed purchases. In business, there is a rotation of purchase and sale. The initial investment in the purchase gets rotated throughout the year in the form of purchase and sales, resulting in the total turnover. The initial investment in the undisclosed sales would constitute undisclosed investment in the undisclosed sales. The authorized representative of the SSC during appellate proceeding could not provide any details of this undisclosed investment. Therefore, the Lanet CIT appeal in the absence of any material on record, the entire undisclosed in investment in the undisclosed sales had been estimated. The Lanet CIT appeal noticed that the SSC's undisclosed sales has detected during search and seizure operations carried out by the officials, officials of the Director General of Central Excise Intelligence amounts to rupees such and such during the assessment year 20. 10, 2011. The average sales per month amounts to rupees such and such. The average gross profit on the sales as disclosed in the return is 3.90 percent, which amounts to rupees 89,724. The average purchase per month amounts to rupees such and such. The undisclosed investment was therefore estimated at rupees such and such. 
that is arises out of that that thing or not on undisclosed sale of rupees 2,76,000, the Lanet CIT appeal also computed the profit on undisclosed sales of rupees such and such at the rate of 3.90 at rupees such and such. Therefore, addition was restricted to that amount instead of such and such as undisclosed income on undisclosed investment in sales and profit on undisclosed sales. The conclusions arrived at by the CIT appeal are therefore correct and admit no interference by us. We approve and confirm the order of the CIT appeal. So but this is entirely factual with regard to Mallard allowing that undisclosed sale to that extent. No, he, <laughs> it's SSC's own admission. My Lord. Therefore, CIT had to determine what is the percentage. He has done that exercise. If you come to page 26 also, they have extracted, in fact, that is what the tribunal has referred to. Some Delhi High Court decision they referred. What is that, uh, Mr. Bagaria? Ajay Kapoor. That is Ajay Kapoor at page 25, my lord, we'll see. <clears throat> In the middle of page 25, they have quoted this Delhi High Court CIT versus Ajay Kapoor. Now the gist of the principle was that the entire purchases cannot be added back. Yes. They have to estimate it and the CIT appeal has undertaken the, that exercise. You know that GP gross profit has to be arrived at. Yes. They adopted a percentage of 3.90 that the tribunal examined the facts and approved it. Sorry, please come. Yes. This appeal by filed by the revenue under section 260 capital A of the Income Tax Act 1961 within bracket the Act is directed against the order dated 12th June 12th June 2020, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal A Bench, Kolkata, in ITA number 482 KOL 2019 18 for the assessment year 2010 11. The revenue has raised the following substantial questions of law for consideration. Page number 5, 1, 2, and 3. We have heard Mr. Tilak Lana Senior Standing Counsel for the Appellant Revenue, and Mr. Bagaria, Lana Advocate, appearing for the respondent as the dispute in the instant case lies in a narrow campus. The issue, issue was, you know, the SSE, as per his own admission, had made undisclosed sales from undisclosed purchases. Thus, in the absence of any material on record, huh, the CITA had to estimate the undisclosed investment in the undisclosed sale. The following facts were taken note of by the CITA and relief was granted to the SSC. Page 26 in the italics portions. It starts, therefore, in the absence of Till the end. Hmm? The Learner Tribunal um, tested the uh, correctness of the order passed by the CITA by examining the re examining the factual position and agreed with the view taken by the CITA. In our uh, uh, We find that the CITA has com computed the gross, uh, the computed the profit on undisclosed sales at 3.90%. And accordingly, the addition was restricted. Uh, the decision having arrived, being arrived at on uh, examination and re examination of the factual position, we find that no question of law, much less substantial question of law arises for consideration in this appeal. Accordingly, appeal fails this. I bought on it. I'm grateful, my lord. Next. I don't know about 11. Lord, I'm appearing in this case. Yes, sir. On the last occasion, Lord, 13 February, your lordship was pleased to direct them to file a paper book, my lord, containing the documents which are filed before the tribunal, my lord. He has served me the papers, my lord. 
सर वॉल्यूमिनस पेपर मला रिटर्न इट नो मला मला आई हॅव जस्ट रिसीव नो मला शॉर्टली वी नीड टू गो पेपरलेस नो यस यस दिस वॉल्यूमिनस पेपर्स आर लाइक यू फ्रॉम प्रतीक शी स्टार्ट पेपरलेस माय लॉर्ड आई कैन बिकॉज़ रिसेंटली आई विल बी वेरी कैंडिड माय लॉर्ड रिसेंटली आई हैड सम बचावत मिस्टर बचावत इज आर्ग्यूइंग विद बेस्ड ऑन स्टैब माय लॉर्ड एंड अपलेट साइड आई थिंक अंकित कनोडिया ही इज आल्सो Going. Even Mr. Abhrutosh Majumdar, my lord, if I may, ah, yes, he is also. also. He has, but because... his pleadings, I have not seen him do it. But uh, decisions he does. Yes, it. yes, yes. But uh, Mr. Bajawat, for that Brilla Lota matter, he including pleadings, very easy for you. Recently, and I'll be. No, we are trying. We are also place some orders. We get a webcam, webcam, tablet, uh, which has got a half and half screen. So we will try and start that as early as possible. Today, live stream is going on. I am. I don't know. It's going on, or so. So it's going on. So we start that. It's easy. You need not carry all these things. You let him carry. If I may be candid, my lord, very respectfully, your lordship, that even I have invested in a, a large scanner. Ah. Uh. Because in that can scan some sixty pages, both the sides, within two minutes. So uh. lordship, then it becomes easier for me to maintain records electronically as well. then you start you start you for, for the time being you have your physical files plus you start on this but you should we also require the department's cooperation because your lordship they will have to provide us with some email or somewhere where we no, can no, that we are uh, arranging that we will arrange once you you scan the documents in your office we will give you the uh, id where it has to be uploaded midnight you can upload it so decisions everything compilation everything you can upload it morning we open and uh, in fact uh, right through covid i was doing the same thing in madras up to yes. 3 am the lawyers will be sending it to my personal email id so so showing th- that next day we will see who was working till 3 am who was <laughs> working till 4 am mera the questions are at page 4 billard mera here actually we'll hear it some day today is there was a article in the newspaper that my lord when my lord was in madras high court honorable madras high court that my lord's court was the first court to procure a number of licenses from microsoft yes yes well that was that article was published you know in fact uh, the the microsoft team uh, honorable uh, chief justice uh, ap sai was our chief justice so we had a meeting with them from the us they did not know that indian judiciary can be such a big consumer base for them they were uh, developed this app for meeting purposes some board meetings etc they didn't know that this um, uh, licensees will use this license from 10 am in the morning till evening for five minimum five days a week so they customized it to suit the indian judiciary so it has got the recording device etc auto correction i mean replay device all those things are and uh, there is one agency um something like this webel and uh, wtl there is one government agency um which is uh, uh, exclusively for this e governance so they, they were able to do and i negotiated we got the one license for 1200 rupees okay 56 licenses uh, 60 licenses we purchased now it is revised so initial offer no? so that was good for us i don't because at that time only they said zoom you can't use so we had to do something to keep the court running good you give some date <coughs> but may i submit or we bring it on the next day i don't i'm i'm grateful i don't grateful lord number 12 My lord, item twelve. I late by Mr. Om. I'm praying for just not today. Not today. My lord, then let it be in the third week of April because Pardon? next week is continuous. Next week is continuous holidays. So let it be in third week of April. Any date you want. Third, third week of April, my lord. At request also. Seventeenth April. Seventh, eighteenth. After eighteenth. Nineteenth. Nineteenth. Yes. I'm grateful. Grateful. I know what thirteen. Yes. Thirteen lordship, I am appearing on behalf of the ED. I have already served. 
Yeah. You are for the appellant. I am for the appellant. Also. This is an appeal under section 42 okay. of the PML Act. Hmm. Okay. This is the affidavit of service and the notice of motion. And who is appearing for the... For the IAP for the respondent. Oh, very good. Well, so far as my client is concerned, mm. it has not been served uh, to him, but still I have instructions to appear. And who are the other respondents? There only only sole, sole respondent. Sole, sole respondent. Oh. And what is the order? Order Lordship is that my stay application Lordship, if Lordship kindly comes to the stay application, it's annexure F is the order that was passed by the appellate tribunal, PMLA Delhi wherein the order passed by the adjudicating authority was set aside. We have seized certain documents and properties. Mm. Those were allowed to be returned back. We have come up in challenge to that particular order. That is at page 62. Lots. 62. 62 of my stay application. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, better. Yeah. But at what, uh, what is the stage? Your investigation is complete. Not yet, Lordship. Not yet. Not yet. Lordship, basically what had happened, initially CBI had registered an FIR against one Hassan Ali Khan. Hmm. The allegation was that he was into SEDI businesses of 36,000 crores rupees. Now we have got documents and materials to show that the present respondent had took monies that we have stated in my stay application and everything, all the documents were shown and produced. Mm. What, what I preliminary find, the main contention that was raised by the appellate tribunal is that uh, Lord Chief will kindly comes to, because that is the main crux, he didn't go into any other issues at all. Mm. He's only into section 8 of the PML Act. And the main thing that the appellate tribunal has stated is that as per section 8, once an order is issued by the adjudicating authority, the investigation is to be completed by either 90 days or by 365 days. His contention is that three or four years had been passed. ED has not yet filed a prosecution complaint. So he's setting aside the order. That's the crux of the case. But my case is something different, Lordship, mm -hmm. that at that particular point of time, that particular amendment of 90 days or 365 days didn't exist. So at that point of time, there was no restriction, no nothing. But then it should be reasonable time. Yes, it should be. It can't be. Uh, because yeah. Lordship, it was pending. Since the matter was pending in the meantime, COVID period was also there. But because then, on this sole point of technicality, no, no. the matter is... One, one aspect of it. Now, what were you retaining? What are the documents you were retaining? There were certain properties which we had taken, certain bank accounts we had frozen, and two mobile phones. Mobile but phones, you could have retrieved the data. Huh? Caesar list is at page 26 of my stay application. It was seized from the wife of the respondent. No, you make copies and return the uh, documents. Whatever call records you wanted to trace, you trace from the mobile phone. Page 26. 26, Lordship. This is a seizure memo. Where is the list of articles? Lordship, it is the next page. Uh, page 29, effective, Lordship. One laptop. Yes, Lordship. Laptop, uh, you download everything from the uh, hard disk and uh, uh, then Galaxy is... You may Samsung phone, Nokia phone. All you, you if you a, get lost in your department, somebody will take it off. And these documents these you are, make, uh, ask them to supply certificate copies and return it. Certificate copies, but properties are also there, bank accounts are also seized. Property, you let the attachment continue. Let the attachment continue. No, he has not yes. uh, sought for uh, lifting the attachment. Have you sought for lifting the attachment on the property? Well, look, under the act. PMLA Act, well, the retention order has to be uh, confirmed 
by the appellate of the body so as to allow the uh, continuation of the freezing yes. order. That is why they filed the application. Yes. They, they, they did not succeed. Therefore, they have come up before the High Court. Correct. But where I have a uh, point to urge, but as your lordships know, Millard, the PMLA Act has been interpreted by the Honorable Supreme Court, which now it says that, of course, it was before it has been interpreted, that there has to be a predicate offense for the um, uh, PMLA authorities to get activated. PMLA authorities cannot by themselves get activated. There has to be an investigation before the jurisdictional police authorities. And on the basis of that, the PMLA authorities can get activated. Now, so far as this is concerned, where the CBI case Millard was registered. Now, in the CBI case Millard, there was nothing against me. The chart sheet also, also filed. There is nothing against me. Now, Millard, they are hovering around Millard, uh, some sort of a. Okay, would... Why you take it that far? The issue itself is yes. they filed an application yes. uh, requesting that. Uh, uh, they are the adjudicating authority in page 66, para right. 6, right. they have extracted. Right. Uh, the order of retention freezing shall yes. continue during the pendency of the proceedings relating to any offense yes. under this act before any court service. Then right. become final after the order of confiscation is passed. Yes. Now the tribunal uh, examines what are the type of uh, documents uh, retained or articles retained and he says it's not. But the tribunal did not go into the merits of the matter. Not going to the merits yes. of the case. But went on the issue that uh, it is time barred. But his argument is at the relevant time that amendment was not there. Yes, Lord. May the Lord may decide that. Kindly fix it um, any time uh, subject to Lord Chief's convenience. But uh, without going to this aspect, what will be the use? What use? Yes. Uh, I mean, uh, purpose will be served by retaining these things. See, if the documents are returned, Lord Chief. Uh, uh, you take certificate copies of the documents. Yes. If there is no, he says, in the CBA charge sheet, he has not been named. Lord Chief, and for four, three, four years, you have not... And Lord Chief, there is one part to it. In our instant case, there is a CBI affair initially that I have attached as annexed A, which is at page 15 of my application. Now, Lord Chief, right, kindly sir, then you do one thing. You file your affidavit if necessary. Affidavit in opposition. Not, uh, not required. Not required, I think. There is no factual dispute. Whatever See, it is. Then we will fix a date for the appeal. Kind of fix it more at the earliest period. Uh, it's an old man, Miller. The, all his properties and are And like, the, the documents have been returned? Documents, no, no, I need do to documents are there with them. I need to take instructions regarding whether documents and properties that part, Lord. Sir. The order that was passed by the adjudicating authority was an, was an exhaustive order. And Lord Shri would kindly appreciate one thing. In case of ED, when ED investigates All a right. PMA... We'll admit the appeal Lord Shri. and uh, list it for hearing probably on uh, 2nd May. Lord Shri. This month is difficult. <laughs> very, very, very. Uh, admit. In the meantime, Anything Lord else Shri. you want to file? Any compilation or anything? Uh, Mil Please keep that liberty open. If All if right. I find that something is required, I'll admit it. List, list the appeal for directions on 6th, 2nd May. Liberty is granted to the respondent, learned advocate for the respondent to file a compilation if necessary containing uh, documents which are placed before the tribunal or before the adjudicating authority. Lordship, in the meantime, stay of the impium guard. Why oh, stay? Yes, no. Uh, because in the meantime, the what he'll do, contempt proceedings, is it? No, Lord he can't. I'm just he'll be afraid to enter your office, sir. I'm just I'm just <laughs> waiting for it, Lord. It's for the Lordship to decide. Because it's been filed in you time. Man, and you manage, time. you manage. Anything Lordship. is there you mention. Lordship. I'm grateful. Grateful, Lord. Yeah. I don't know, 14. 14 mile in this matter, I paid last occasion. <laughs> For uh, specific date, since my counsel is from outstation, who has argued before Sesta at Kolkata. So I wanted 17, but my learned friend has some difficulty. 24th April, my lord. All right, 24th April, Monday. as requested by the learned advocate for the respondent. 24th. Oh, I am ready to do it today, my lord. No, my lord, he is her difficulty. Respondent. 17th, he has some difficulty. It's not about 17th. Today she has difficulty. No, I don't I have because client has engaged the council who are good. Two days before 24th, 
you check with the court officer yes. whether the matter may come or not, then he can come. My lord, one more thing. My lord, on the last occasion, my lord admitted this. My lord, as, uh, as my junior counsel, my lord has recorded Mr. Amit Sharma's name. It should be Mr. Tapan Banja. My Tapan Banja. My lord, will kind by, by In our order dated so and so. 28th March 23. 28th March 2023. The name of Mr. Amit Sharma has been shown as, uh, as uh, one of the advocates appearing for the upper land instead of Mr. Tapan Banja. Therefore, uh, the name of Mr. Tapan Banja be shown in the said order. And this order shall form part of the order dated 28th March 2023. Great. Good. I don't know, 15. I'm going to write back to you. Lord, short issue before your lordship. Here we will have SEC claim the deduction under section 80 IC of the Income Tax Act. Hmm. Lord, he has not more lot file me lot form under 10 CCB. Lord, the audit report has not been filed. But his claim has been rejected. Lord, your lordship kindly see Lord, Lord page 39 CIT appeals order. Lord, paragraph number 3.2. Lord, this is this is a fact, Lord. The applicant has submitted that he has filed a return as on such and such, showing the return income. He has claimed deduction on, of such and such rupees under section 80 IC. Return was processed on 3 6 2022. At the time of filing of return, SEC could not submit an audit report in form 10 CCB. This form of 10 CCB was filed by the applicant on 6 2 2020, that is before the return was processed. At the time of filing of return, the claim of reduction was duly reflected in tax audit report in form 3 CD. As it was the submitter, it had submitted form number 10 CCP before the return was processed. Hence, its, its claim of deduction should not be denied. It is the further submitter that the filing of audit report directly and not mandatorily and can be filed at any but time. It's only a procedural irregularity. That is not true. Now, tribunal will not. Last paragraph, page. In fact, tribunal has gone into the other aspect also. Yes. Not only stopping with the procedurally, the legitimacy is whether it was a legitimate quantification. We will confirm it, sir. My Lord. This appeal filed by the revenue under section 260 capital. Yes. 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 Lord, there is a decision by Lord Six on the same. Uh, okay. um, uh, act within bracket tag uh, directed against order dated 20th May, May to. 2022, passed by the Income Tax Appellate Tribunal B Bench Kolkata in ITA number 78 slash KOL slash 2022 for the assessment year 2019-20. The revenue has raised the following substantial question of law for consideration. Page number 6, question A alone. <laughs> Third, Mr. Soman Bhattacharya, then Senior Standing Counsel for the Appellant and Mr. Subhash Agarwal, then an advocate appearing for the respondent. The short issue which falls for consideration is whether uh, the non-submission of form 10 CCB, all capitals, along with the return, can be a ground to the benefit of 80 IC was claimed. Uh, can, can be a ground to deny, deny. the benefit of the deduction under section 80 capital I capital C of the act. The learned tribunal, come in our view, rightly took note of uh, the decision of the Honorable Supreme Court in CIT versus GM Knitting Industries Private Limited, 376 ITR 456, and held that, that a mere procedural irregularity uh, is not fatal to claim the deduction under section 80 IC of the act. Similar view says In this decision, which paragraph, Mr. Agarwal? Uh, my Lord, uh, page 3, 
page three, second para onwards. Ah, similar uh, full stop. In in the in the case of Vincro Commercial India Limited versus Principal Commissioner of Income Tax One and Another, IT AT number two thirty seven of twenty twenty two dated twenty six twenty second November twenty twenty two. This court had considered a similar issue where the SSC failed to attach the audit report or claim deduction along with the return of income. That being only a, a procedural lapse, come on. Uh, it, uh, the court held that the assessee cannot be non-suited on the said ground. The decision uh, of the High Court of Delhi in the case of Commissioner of Income Tax, comma Delhi versus Conti Meter Electricals Private Limited, 2009-178 taxman 422 within bracket Delhi, and the decision of this court. In the case of Murali Export House versus Commission of Income Tax, 1999 within bracket, 238 ITR, 257 within bracket, Calcutta, huh? uh, were referred to. Thus, the tribunal rightly decided the issue in favor of the SSC and against the revenue. The result, the appeal fails and is dismissed, and the substantial question of law. Is answered against the rebel. Next. I don't know, 16. So this is my appeal. Well, in the last occasion, my Lord had directed to reframe the, uh, yes. the questions. And who will be appearing? My Lord, they have re refused the. Service. Then substituted service, huh? no. Refused means it's served. Refused, yes. All right. We have heard Mr. Vipul Gandhi. Sir, you give that revised question. Amit Sharma, notice sent to the respondent has been refused and affidavit of service has been filed. The appeal is admitted on the following substantial questions of law. All the five questions are separate sheet. See, actually, I don't know whether this uh, company is still in existence uh, the other group companies are in deep trouble. That much I know. Because I'm dealing with the uh, company matters there. The same group has come. You ask your uh, officer to verify from the counterpart there. I will do that. Hmm? I will do that. Whether it's gone before the Very NCL. interesting point. The point here is they show something. They show a share applica application money. The amount, uh, amount given to two companies. And thereafter... They say that this money was actually for contractual, given for contractual work. And thereafter they come, they don't deduct the TDS amount and then come with a certificate showing at that point of time, TDS amount was not applicable on this particular. This managing director was arrested. He died in prison of the medical crime. Lot of people got cheated. Unbound infrastructure, housing, teak farm, teak plantation. So you can own 50 trees. Oh, this is that, that peak uh -huh. thing. Every group, this group. Anyway, let us see. Wait for my Lord. Next. I don't know, 17. My Lord, this is my appeal. Hmm. What happened, respondent, sir? My Lord, this is within time, my Lord. No, so it is not served. Not served, my lord. Uh, on last what, occasion, my lord. Any good question, we can admit. Yes, my lord. ATP 2A. ATP, my lord. Who appeared for the respondent before the tribunal? My lord. Alas Chatopadhyaya, oh, charter account. You serve notice on admission. My, my lord, I shall. Let uh, the uh, learned advocate for the... Oh, uh, appellant is directed to serve notice on the respondent. Huh? Directing the respondent to appear huh? when the case will be heard for admission after two weeks. My Lord. We'll stop with this. Sir. No, slow, slow, around. <laughs> Uh, 